Hi everyone, welcome to this very exciting event. Let me know you can see and hear me, please. Just put it into the chat box. It should either be sort of in the corner there or over there, one side or the other, a red box with three uh, red, uh, white dots. And if you open it up, you should be able to see me and hear me. So I wanna first of all, uh, make sure everyone can. And thank you very much, Eric Howard. Hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everybody as well. I want all the new people to tell me where they're from as well as we kick off and get going. As I said, please let me know that you can indeed see and hear me. And as we start doing that, I'm going to start the poll. Uh, I, Freddie's from Cape Town. Why are watching you from Ista Istanbul, I assume, Tim? Uh, uh, hello, uh, great, everyone can see and hear me, I can see that, so we can start off, I'm going to start off with a poll, first and foremost, and that is, will the FTSE be higher by the end of 2020, not 2019, 2020, I'm going to share some of the results with you in a short while as well, thank you very much everyone, um, uh, uh, wishing me good wishes as well, great, from Malta, Michael from Malta, We've got anybody from Britain at all? Uh, it's fantastic. For people from all over the world, I'm delighted. Staffordshire, great, Fred. Uh, Detroit, Michigan, Thomas, fantastic. Island, PJ, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm gr grateful everybody's on board. So let's kick off. I've got a whole bunch of uh, new stuff to share with you. I've mixed it up with some slides that I've not shown for a couple of years because I think they're incredibly clear, and I'm going to show you those and share with you some of those. So first of all, look, I really want to simplify trading. Every webinar, I don't just want to give the live trades and what we're trading. I also want to try and simplify it. By the way, hi from Boston as well. Uh, 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 I just want to show you something which I did a little bit earlier. Uh, I don't know if some of you know this. We've got a little Telegram channel now and a Telegram app uh, which broadcasts onto your uh, onto your phone. So what happened earlier on, I showed people, I said, look, one of the trades, this is a new experiment we're doing. Uh, one of the trades I showed people was what we were looking at on the FTSE 100. And I said, you know, we're expecting the FTSE to continue falling. At the time, it was at 75.52. Uh, and I put this up at... Uh, the time was 12.13 UK time today. Anyway, just now, 18.50, before the webinar, I thought I better just update it. Uh, where are we? It's fallen even further, uh, which is good for us, because remember, the red arrow means we've shorted. And it was at 75.28. That's where it was, some profit taking, obviously, before the year end closed. Uh, and that generated profits. And I might start doing more of this on the app. I might start doing this. Vancouver, Manish. Uh, hello from Vancouver. That's great. Got such a global audience. Might do more of this on the app, on the Telegram app with, with all the pips, where to trades and the ones we're specifically looking at. So it becomes more intimate, more direct. And obviously that was profitable for people. I joked, update on the FTSE. Congratulations everyone who followed the earlier trade on the message before this. Hope we made a few millionaires in 2019, will do in 2020. Anyway, the point is, I just wanted to share that with you, partly because that's one of the reasons why I'm really excited. Always looking to innovate, always find simpler ways to teach you trading, simpler ways to communicate trades with you. Simpler ways for you to profit from the markets. And that's what it's about. There is genius in simplicity, it has been said. Karthik from India, Manmeet from Delhi. This is fantastic. Uh, wonderful to hear, Fred. I'll have a look at the Euro Canadian dollar in a second. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with some of the things. What am I going to teach you today? What are you going to learn? I promise in the next hour or so, it's going to be about 90 minutes, okay? Grab a pen and paper, turn off the TV, make sure there's no distractions, make sure nobody else is using broadband, otherwise you won't be able to see and hear me. Uh, my job is to make sure you're going to become consistently profitable. And if you've never traded before, I'll give you a template to follow. I know virtually all of you will have traded before. Uh, so for you, I want to make sure it becomes uh, more profitable, becomes more consistent. Okay, that's my job. This is the guarantee I'm going to give you. And this is a big guarantee to give anybody. I'm going to guarantee some results. I'm going to guarantee that what I'm teaching you should generate 60 to 80% profitable trades. Now, that's not as big a boast as it appears. I'll tell you why. 50-50 is a coin. So I'm only looking to be a bit better than a coin. And of course, even with a coin, you can get a string of heads. Okay. So yeah, sometimes you're going to get 80%. You might even get 100% right because you're going to get a string of wins. So it's not as big a boast as you think in actual fact, but it is quite good to have targets. And that's going to be our target. Uh, our term's going to be over 20 trades. You can pick the currencies. We're going to focus on one-hour timeframes. I'll take you about 30 days over which I want you to do this. And over that 30 day period, that's what you're going to get. Okay. You don't even have to do real trades. You can just monitor them. And that's going to be uh, our sort of January target, as it were. Winston from Aberdeen. Hello, indeed. And put another way, this is what we're looking at. I broke down all the types of traders we've got on here. Okay. You've got those starting with just 1K. I mean, if you're a beginner, you should start with a demo account. You got those with 5K. 
intermediate levels of capital. Then you got those with 10 or more. If you've got 20, then just double the last set of figures, okay? 10 or more. And that's what it uh, uh, looks like for you guys, okay? Uh, um, and what we're going to look at, these are the target figures. You've got to have a business plan. This is going to be our business plan. Okay, and I'm going to break that business plan for you. If you've got 1K, we're going to just look to do five trades per week. It's That's partly to do with the amount of cost of trading and so on. The risk per trade, if we get it wrong, we're going to lose $30. Whereas if you've got 10K in your account, you're going to do 10 trades per week and you might lose $200 if you get it wrong. The return per annum, and I'm going to break this down in the business plan and why we're looking to get these kind of sums. Now, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker I want you to make a note of. If you want to try and get a bigger return, you can do it in a couple of ways. You can either increase the number of trades in a week, but the trades have got to be high quality. So I don't want you doing low quality trades, and that's the constraint. Or you could increase the risk per trade. Well, what's the constraint on that? The constraint on that is, what if you got three or four or five losing trades in a row? How much would you be down? So do you see what I mean? Return has a constraint of quality and a constraint of downside risk that what if you get a string of losing trades? Now, most of you will know this, okay? So I am probably telling you the obvious, but I just thought I'd spell it out, what our goals are, because it's the goals that get us excited, you know, in life. And if we don't have goals, then what's the bloody point of doing anything, all right? So we need to know what we're looking to do. In actual fact, as I've always said on all my webinars, our goal is to try and consistently get 500 to 1,000 a month, whether it's dollars or pounds, or if you're in rupees, you can convert it, or Canadian dollars, you can uh, uh, do it as well. Okay. Uh, now, the reason I put it in these terms, Fred, I'll answer you in a second. Uh, the reason I put it in these terms is this. I want you to get 500,000 a month consistently because in some months you'll get more, some months you'll get less. The reason is once we're consistent, we can become efficient. So we're not screen slaves. Once we become efficient, we can scale up. Because if you've got the basic skills to make 500, you've got the skills to make 1,000. If you make 1,000, you can make two. If you can make two, you can make four. Okay, that many of you will know. Now, we're motivated. We are motivated because after Christmas, everyone's motivated because they've spent too much and they're motivated to do your New Year's resolutions. In fact, January can really help motivate our uh, our habits. All right. Now, I can't promise you're going to drink less or quit smoking. Um, well, you're going to be, thanks to trading, be able to afford gym membership more easily. Lose weight? Yeah, you'll get a personal trainer who will help keep you fit. Find a new job? That job could be trading. And what do you think of trading as an entrepreneurial venture, a side gig in the gig economy? Its aim is, of course, to pay off debt, but you should only ever trade with risk capital. Okay, you shouldn't trade with money you can't afford to lose. It should help you then save money as well, okay? Should help you save money as well. Marguerite, absolutely, okay? Winston, absolutely, all right? Um, uh, uh, want you to then use that money to help others. Who knows? Money might make you look more attractive. But fundamentally, a lot of the New Year's resolutions people have, I think a lot of them, a lot of them are... Uh, fulfilled through trading. Now, I'm not just saying that because I love trading. I love trading so much. I've written the Bible on trading, okay? Don't buy the book. It's old. It's too old to buy. I'm going to give you the best bits in this webinar. That's the Financial Times who published it. International bestseller. I didn't write that. They wrote it because it's the truth. Trading online, okay? Uh, now, and it's a big, fat, thick book as well. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I'm going to give you the best bits in this webinar. In fact, uh, uh, I'm going to even start giving you some of the slides to download now. I'm sharing one of the chapters from the book right now. You should be able to get that on the uh, webinar service there, okay, right now as I'm sharing it uh, with the poll. I'm going to end this poll now. Will the FTSE be higher by 2020, end of 2020? 61% of you have said yes. 61% said yes. So the majority are in favor of that. Okay, let's have a, I'm going to start another poll. Uh, let's do, we might as well do the, let's do the Dow. Now, let me get on with some more of the slides. Most of the time, trading for me was like this. I had no silver spoon in my mouth. I had no family of traders. I had no particular advantage. So I don't want you to be disturbed if it feels like this. Trading is essentially about this, okay? Either the market can go up and then up some more, or it could go up, then down, down, then up, or down, down. That's it. That's it. So why is it so difficult? Why is it that 25% of traders lose money? And how do we turn that basic, simple structure of the markets into something profitable? After all, if that's all the market can do, and we just got two decisions to make, when to buy and when to sell, how come 
75% get it wrong. And the reason 75% get it wrong is them have been taught by uh, a proper trader. And I'll show you why. I'll show you even with something as simple as this, why so many get it wrong. For a start, imagine you get in here, okay? And some of you see the market going up to that point. Guess what a lot of you will do? You'll exit, you'll get a small profit. You go, oh, I've got losing positions. So let me just take the profit quickly. Okay, others will say, no, 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 I ride the profits and they'll think they're all so clever. You know what a professional will do at this point where the market's already up? They'll double down, taking some of those profits, they'll add to their winning positions, write this down, winners add to winners, okay? And they'll risk those profits in order to make even more. You can already see why, even though you've got two decisions to make, when to buy and when to sell, a professional is doing something completely different to what private investors do. And then I'm gonna show you this, I'm gonna break it down and how we do it. Okay, but you might say, well, yeah, but Albert, that's all very well, but look, it's a good job I do take my small profits because sometimes it goes up and then goes down. That might be the case, but a professional isn't concerned about that scenario. He's thinking, fine, if it went up to that point and went down, I'll have broken even, or I'll have made a small loss. I don't care because they're really going for these few trades, 25% of which are those trades, and they know 25% of their trades are gonna generate about 80% of their profits. Okay, so this is what they're looking for, the mother of all trade, right? I'll explain all of this as we go on, don't worry. Equally, when it goes down like this, you know what you'll do as a private investor? It goes down, and you'll say to yourself, oh, it might come up, or you might even double up, and then sometimes it does indeed come up, and you think, see, I was right. I should always double down or just leave things be when I'm at a loss. You know what a professional will do? Professional will get out at a loss, a small loss, because he'll say, I'd rather keep my discipline, get out of a small loss. And you know why? Because of this situation, right? You as a private investor will have a small loss, and you know what you'll do? You'll either double down, you'll add to your losers, or you'll do nothing and you'll get a bigger loss and a bigger loss and a bigger loss, and that big loss will not be compensated by the small wins, and it won't be compensated uh, uh, by those small wins. Therefore, even if you've got 90% winners, the 10% losers will wipe you out. You know what a professional will do, which is different? Even though you and the professional have the same data and the same two decisions to make, when to buy and when to sell, you know what the professional will do? They see that small loss, they're the hell out of there. They never get a big loss. So the difference between you and a professional is, even though it's a very simple game of trading, only two decisions to make and only four types of movements that can happen, Still, you can see quickly, mathematically, logically, why 75% of private investors lose because they've not been on this webinar and 25% either through accident or having been on this webinar, get it right. So a professional will get out because only losers add to losers. I want you to write that down and winners add to winners. You know what makes the difference between a multimillionaire and a hedge fund manager and a private investor? A private investor will add to their losers. They'll do a lot of this and they'll have some big losing trades. A professional will never add to their losers. They'll never do that, okay? And they'll add to their winners. So they get 25% of their trades, which are really big, generating 80% of their profits, and they never get the big losing trades. That's why 75% of private investors end up losing overall, and only 25% make money. 25% who make money have either worked this out by accident or through tuition. Okay, it's one or the other. This is just in summary. We're going to go through this in detail, my friends. So don't worry, we're going to go through it all. Uh, I'm going to end this poll on the Dow. Will it be up by the end of the year? Almost similar. 64% of you think by the end of next year, by the end of 2020, it will be up. So I'm going to reset that poll and I'm going to do another poll, which is let's do this one for fun. Sterling US dollar higher by year end by year end i mean 2020 obviously okay which you, you might be thinking am i talking about let's do a quick business plan let's get your juices flowing let's get you excited uh, uh about making money from uh trading at least learning about it okay so let's do a quick business plan and this business plan came about because my wife turned to me once we we're at the kitchen table and she said to me how can i make a thousand dollars and i thought to myself huh you know it sounds dodgy when your wife says how can i make a thousand dollars lots of answers went through my head i thought better keep my mouth shut Anyway, so I came down. She, what she meant is by trading. Let's say you do 20 trades this month. By this month, I mean in the next 30 days, okay? So let's say in the next 30 days, you do uh, 20 trades, right? Let's just break this down. So let's simplify. Well, like I said, there is genius in simplicity. If you can understand the simplicity, you can make the money to understand the big stuff, all right? It's how business people teach you business. It's how things are learned, okay? They're learned like this. They're learned by uh, simplifying, right? So let's start off with that. And you might want to write this down or take photos on your camera phone uh, of these things. Oh, by the way, those slides, let me just uh, stop sharing those ones and I'll give you some others. I'm going to share, let me share something else, which I'm going to share some 
uh, rules with you right now. Uh, uh, okay, so you're going to get some new slides that I'm sharing with you, and you should hopefully on the uh, on this be able to see those slides. Now, let's say you win just a bit better than a coin. A coin's 50-50, so you win only 60% of the time. That means out of those 20 trades, 12 were winning. 60 times 20, all right, simple math. So you uh, let's say you make 45 points or pips in the language of trading when you win. And you lose 45 when you lose. We're going to keep it really simple, really flair, nothing extraordinary. We're not saying, oh, you win 90% of the time. And when you win, you make billions. When you lose, you lose, you lose nothing. No, no, no. We're not skewing this game. Let's just keep it really basic, really simple. Okay. Okay. So that means you had 12 wins out of 20 because 60% were winning trades by our assumptions. Eight were losing, right? So you narrowly won over losing, which means a net four wins. All right. Four wins net because 12 minus eight means four. Right, so four times 45 pips means you made 180 pips. So in those 30 days, 20 trades, you made 180 pips or 180 points. Simple maths, right? So the next question is, how do you make a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars? Because this is the start of a business plan, right? So if the first thing you've got to ask yourself, so my wife asked me, okay, I understand all of that, Alpesh. I mean, obviously she said, you're gonna have to teach me a strategy where I can win a little bit better than a coin, right? And I said, yeah, well, that's the easy part, um, which we'll come to in the second in the webinar. Uh, how do you make that thousand pounds? I said, so the next question you gotta ask yourself is risk, risk of loss. That's the key. We wanna be professional. What if you had three consecutive losing trades? What if you had three consecutive losing trades? All right, so remember the question. How do you make a thousand? What if you had three consecutive losing trades is the question to ask. What situation would you in? Well, let's say you had three consecutive losing trades. Remember, we said the assumption is each losing trade would lose you 45 points. And you might say, well, why should it not lose me less, Alpesh? Why should be there any losing trades? Well, let's just assume we're not superhuman and we don't have some secret formula, all right, like Coca-Cola or KFC. So let's assume we do have some losing trades and we don't have a crystal ball or a time machine and we're normal and we're mortal and therefore uh, we lose 45 points as much as we make when we're right. So that's 135 points if you have three losing consecutive trades. So you might say, well, look, if I lose three consecutive trades, I don't want to lose more than 20% of my capital and 20% of my thousand, which I started off with, because I'll feel very bad if after three trades I've lost more than 20%, obviously. So what happens next? Da -da. Well, if after three losses, you want a maximum of 20% on your capital, that means you only want to lose 200 pounds or $200 max. Okay, max, right? I'm gonna stop sharing those rules for a second. I'm gonna go back into the chat. It says PDFs are empty. Oh no, they shouldn't be empty. I'll make sure I keep sending it, okay? Ah, oh, Tim, I think I'm answering your question right now, okay? Uh, right, so if you had, uh, you only wanna lose that, it's 200 pounds, okay? So then each trade should be 200 pounds divided by 135 or one point. Uh, one pound fifty per point. The maths of that means that on each trade, if you had forty-five points that you lost, one point four five, and you had three consecutive losing trades, you'd lose two hundred pounds. All right. So now you know, and this is not just for CFD and spread betting. It could be for futures. Everything can be translated into pounds per point. So you should bet that much. You should trade that amount. Okay. Well, okay, that's fine. Uh, you're trading that amount. So let's put it this way. So one hundred eighty pips profit. Remember, it was 180 net pips profit after 20 trades in one month would be times one pound 50, okay, 270 pounds profit in a month, okay? Now, you might go, what, 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 where did you lose? Sometimes I lose people around this, okay? Remember, we're only doing one pound 50 per point because we don't want to lose more than 200 pounds if we get three consecutive losing trades, and it's 180 pips profit because from the last slide I said we have a net pips uh, oh, people are saying that the um, PDFs, the files are corrupted. Don't worry, I'm gonna send them to you separately in a separate manner as well. So there's no issue there. I will send it after the webinar. So don't worry if for some reason you can't download them. We'll make sure that you get those after the webinar. So for anybody who's having problems downloading the PDF slides, don't worry, do not worry. You'll get them by email link as well after the webinar and in the Q&A section as well. All right, so now let's put this business plan together. Let's get excited about this for a second. So you need four months to make the thousand, obviously, because in four months, you'll have four times 270 pounds to make the thousand pounds. Yeah, now we've assumed certain things that you're going to do those trades. You're gonna have a strategy, which we'll come to in a second, but at least it gives us the breakdown. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You need four months times that to make thousand, right? 
if you double your risk, I'm not saying you should, if you doubled it, so it became what not one pound fifty a point, but three pounds, then you could be down 40%, i.e. double everything, not 20% down if you have three consecutive losing trades, but 40% down if you have three consecutive losing trades. But you could make it in half the time, obviously. You could make it in half the time. My point is, this is where you see the interrelationship between risk, return, and reward. Those people who want to make the most in the least amount of time have the danger that if they have a string of tails or losing trades, they're wiped out. However, however, they could make their returns in a shorter space of time. I advise people to take their time and not try and be greedy and do things too quickly. Okay. The point is, and the reason is, because if you can make 1,000 and learn the skills to do that, we need to focus on the strategy for that, then you can make two. And if you can make two, you can make four. Any business, you want to simplify it to the point where all you're worried about is scaling it up, not how to do it. You need to, first of all, work out how to do it, get the process right, then it becomes an issue of scale. And the way to do work out how to do it is on a riskless basis as possible, the least risk as possible, i.e. starting small and taking ample time. And that's the that's our process. That's the way I'm going to teach you. And that's what I'm going to teach you in this webinar. Okay. How do we start small? Learn to trade with, learn to try and make consistently 500 to 1,000 a month. Uh, uh, and then we'll worry about scaling up. And by the way, scaling up means adding more capital. And adding more capital is no, there's no secret to it. You're going to be going to friends and family, or you're going to be finding it from elsewhere. I'm not going to give it to you, but scaling up is a simpler problem to solve, which is, okay, how do I get more capital? But that's not the problem for today. Most people think the big problem is arbitrage. Oh, I need to find $10,000 before I start trading. No, you don't. You need to find nothing before you start trading because you should be starting trading by learning first on a demo account or observing the market or a $1,000 account and then build up slowly once you're consistently profitable. That's the right order to do it. As Odinaka has just written, trading is a marathon, not a sprint. Why would you want to? Nobody's going to switch off the markets tomorrow. You know Warren Buffett, you know George Soros, uh, Jim Simons, they're in their 80s and they're still trading. They don't retire from it. Nobody retires from it, okay? So now that I've set it up with the business plan and everything else, okay, what I want to say to everybody, what I want to say to everybody is, is, is this. Uh, can I just ask your permission? I'm going to continue giving great content for the next hour, okay? Uh, uh, can I, right in the last 10 minutes, tell you something my hedge fund's done, which we think is like Google of trading, okay? We've created a software company, uh, a fintech company, if you will, which we think is going to be like Google. We think it's going to be a unicorn. We're going to float it on the market. We've got venture capital investment uh, lined up for it. So can I tell you that in the last 10 minutes? You don't have to stay for that last 10 minutes. We'll do the Q&A and we'll do all of this. But I, the reason I say this is because I want people... Um, yeah, I want your permission. I don't want people to say, hey, great webinar, but in the last 10 minutes you talked about yourself. We hate you. And sometimes that happens. All right, so now let me continue. Thank you very much, everybody who's saying yes, 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 yes. I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. So let me, let me, thank you very much, Sahil, Mike, Tim, Marguerite, uh, everybody else. Thank you very much. Very quickly, just a quick aside. Okay, my favorite books. Take a photo of this. I won't go through it all. Uh, this one I'm going through at the moment. All right. Uh, this is all about algo trading. This is how trading happens now. So I'm going to show you to remove emotions from trading, to make it systematic, to make it a process like any good business. It should be without emotion. It should be a process driven thing. Okay. So that's, that's my favorite book at the moment. The rest are based around that range is about how people who are not from finance can succeed in finance because actually so much of finance you don't need. You need to cut to the chase. You can. That's why. In a way, what it's explaining is you can, in a 90-minute webinar, learn the essence of trading in the same way you can learn how to drive without knowing how a car works. And, and that can be to your advantage. Uh, and some of the experts tend to mess it up, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you. Now, trading, the great thing is, okay, let's start off with which I think are the best products I want to be trading in 2020, all right? Now, listen, we've got so much to choose from. We're not going to be trading 300 Forex pairs or 60 global indices too much we can't focus on those okay nine thousand shares in ETS, 50 crypto uh, uh uh look at this 50 crypto instruments 30 plus treasuries and bonds we don't have the time or energy to look at all this so i'm going to narrow down on some of the ones which are going to be my favorites this is not exclusive doesn't mean we won't do other things of course we will you'll notice that even on there the footsie wasn't on there but guess what i just showed you the footsie trade earlier okay let me come back to that footsie trade okay, which was this one, 
right? Nice little trend. First of all, we had to go long, okay? And I'm going to show you certain important things, okay? What you can see on screen, it's live real-time data, and there's so much to choose from. All of these instruments on the left-hand side, you can see I'm scrolling down to choose from, right? So always we've got to narrow it down. Great thing about if you want to make money in anything in life, you need to have choice. You need to have opportunities. These are all opportunities, but then you need to pick quality. So you don't chase everything. You pick a few things from a big choice funnel. That way you can pick quality. All right. So we're going to work out how, how do we pick quality, Alpesh, right? That's the first thing. The second thing I need to tell you is this. Because the markets, and they'll happen in 2020, Brexit and Trump and everything else, one second they're going up, they're going, next second they're going down. There's several things you need to know. This green arrow, by the way, whenever you see a green arrow in this webinar, some of you'll know this, my friends, means we've got a buy signal on our algorithms, okay? And a red means we've got a sell. That means to sell short, right? So we sold it, and the red arrow tells us that there's a sell signal. The red uh, line tells us where, and you can see the number there, okay? Uh, and it's written here, sell, 75, 73. All right, it's written there as well. The yellow line always means stop loss. So if the market went up there, we would have exited at a stop at a loss. All right. Now, the, that, those are the key things I want to tell you. Those are the key things. Don't worry about this MAMACD2 and all the rest of it. I'll come to that later. So when you're selling short, as you know, you sell high and you buy back low cheaper later. Right. Now, you all know this. My point with this is the reason we're using algorithms now in 2020 is because the markets go up, they go down. We need to be unemotional. We need to be detached. Okay. Uh, Owen, a thousand dollars is what we start our staff with when I'm training them up. People ask me how much money, and I'm going to show you how that could be enough to supplement a small part time income, which is the question. So a thousand dollars is what to start off with. As I showed you, I don't know if you were right at the start of the webinar where I showed thousand, five K and 10 K and what the returns should be over that period. But I'm going to work on that basis, Owen. Okay. And I'll go through the business plans again and how we increase those amounts. So a thousand dollars is what I suggest in my staff when I'm teaching them, new people coming into the firm. And the reason is I don't want them losing money. That's why. All right. Because think about it. The mistakes they can make with a thousand dollars is the same they can make with ten thousand with a hundred thousand. So why would I make tell them to make mistakes with a hundred thousand dollars? What have I got a death wish to lose money with a new new novice trader? No. So I start them with a thousand dollars. All right. Uh, and then they've just got to scale up with their profits they can add to it. Or if they're consistently profitable, friends and family will throw money at them. It's what happened to me. Right. So the reason there's certain things I want you to notice. The reason we use computer systems is because it removes emotion. Look, green arrow told us when to buy, red told us to go short, right? Notice how we also didn't get in at the bottoms. We didn't get out at the tops because we don't have a crystal ball. We didn't know that was going to be the top. We didn't know that was going to be the bottom. Anybody who lies and tells you all their trades are winning and they get in at the bottoms and the tops and they draw clever little lines, they're lying, they're stupid, they're idiots, all right? So don't believe them. Uh, there we go. I'm going to come back to all of that, but the point is, these are the instruments I'm going to be focused on in 2020. So with not just exclusively, but they're my favorites. Can people said, tell me your favorite. People love favorites, okay? Which instrument time frames as well? Add these to them as well, all right? Uh, and best times of the day in my view. But, but, but this is not a, what can I say? This is not, a, you know, only do this and nothing else. I'm just trying to give a little bit of an edge to you guys, okay? Just trying to give an edge to you guys. And the numbers you might be looking at, for something like this, winning trades and net pips, about 294. Let's say you've got, this is what we found typically happening on a one, because people say, oh, well, what kind of trades? What kind of capital? What kind of, well, um, if you're doing between a pound, if you're doing a pound per point, then it's 294 pounds in a month, obviously, because it's net pips that. And if you're doing 10 pounds, it's going to be that. Okay, it's as simple as that. But we'll break it down for your own particular needs. And I showed you the business plan right at the start of the webinar, but I'll go through it again so you can work it out for 1K and 5K and 10K. So don't worry. All right, we'll break it down. Now, just very quickly, top stocks for 2020, 12-month holdings, because sometimes people ask me all of this. This is ready on our 12-month algorithm, which looks at the value, write this down, value, growth and income generated by companies. Income as in dividend deals, growth as in revenue and profitable growth, uh, valuations determined by the price of the stocks in relation to the growth of their earnings. Okay, I won't go into the technicalities, but here are some names. Now, I will send you these at the end of the webinar, so don't worry. However, if you want to take a picture, feel free, right? Also, um, I gave you this, but I'll also send you this at the end of the webinar. It's the year ahead UBS house view and also the Goldman Sachs European Convention conviction list, right? And you can get hold of me on WhatsApp at any given time. I will send you these 
as well. Yes, those, Jennifer, were all my favorite buys. Stocks for 2020, 12 month holding. Yes, good question, Jennifer. Buys. Yes, um, uh, uh, I didn't make that obvious. You're absolutely right, you see. Uh, good. So the UBS view, in case you don't trust Alpesh, uh, and the Goldman Sachs view, I'll email you all of that as well by the end of the webinar. It should have been in those uh, uh, linkages. Uh, the files that I uh, gave you to download, but some of you have problems with that, so don't worry. You'll get a link to those uh, in any event. Uh, alternatively, you can find them all here, and you can just WhatsApp me if you need to. Now, I'm going through things. Oh, but did you get a chance to write that down? What the hell? I didn't keep a note back. The number of times I emailed you all to say, please bring a notepad. Okay, and just in case you want to know, well, how good are you, Alpesh, at all these picks? Well, pretty much award-winning. Uh, you can look there at the source. This has been monitored since 2004 by an independent third party, which is an award-winning independent third party called ShareScope. And uh, this is the 10,000, which became in 2004 up to 2016. They haven't done the calculation since then, but obviously stock market has gone writing up, so it would have been even bigger. Uh, 10,000 has become a quarter of a million pounds. Okay, 10,000 pounds to a quarter of a million pounds. Uh, uh, there you go. If you want to know the source, there it is. So if you want to know, okay, how good are your 12-month picks? Well, each month, uh, sorry, each year, these 12-month picks since 2004 have been monitored by this company, which is Financial Times Award-winning company, and they've been doing it in real time, okay? And they worked out that from 10,000 pounds, it became a uh, quarter of a million pounds. If you want to know that on their website, not mine, on theirs, independent third party, Financial Times award-winning website, not my company, them who've monitored me since 2004 every year. If you want to have a look, there's the URL to have a look, okay? So just in case you're thinking, well, how do we know we can trust you? Well, how do we know? Well, speak to an award-winning um, uh, company who will tell you. Um, the latest award they won was, uh, there you go, Investment Wealth Management Awards winner, Best Investment Data Provider uh, by the Financial Times. And like I said, they've been monitoring me since 2004. All right, 2004. So let me go for the top U.S. stocks for 2020, right? The, the top U.S. stocks for 2020 over a 12 month holding period based on my value growth rating. It is these for 12 months, not for a week, not for a month, right, for 12 months. Uh, it's these and what kind of performance can you expect? Like I said, the kind of performance which since 2004 to 2016 generated turned 10,000 into quarter of a million pounds. There's the source of data. Uh, this is for a 12 month holding period, top US stocks. These are, they take a picture if you wish. Uh, um, Jennifer, I don't know why you said Amazon uh, on there. Um, I didn't mention Amazon. I don't think I've mentioned Amazon. Where have I mentioned Amazon? I can't see Amazon uh, anywhere. So I think you must have misread a Greco for Amazon. Uh, these are the British stocks. Okay. Do, 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 do. There you go. I'm not going to spend too much detail. If anybody wants to know why did you think they would win? Well, our algorithms are based on valuation, growth, and income. Yeah, but Albert, how do we know your algorithms are any good? Well, because if they can turn 10,000 into a quarter of a million, uh, and by the way, that outperforms every single UK fund manager, uh, every single UK company fund manager over that period, and Warren Buffett by a substantial margin. Oh, the Arbitrage, why haven't you got billions under management? You tell me, you tell me why I haven't got billions under management, okay? Uh, my my asset management company has about 90 million euros under management and because it's not Goldman Sachs. Right, so let's solve some problems. Problem one, you don't know when to buy and sell or what to buy and sell, okay? You don't know what, uh, when, when to buy and sell or what, right? So we're gonna have to remove that problem, right? Knowing when to buy and sell. The other problem, only 25% make money. Like I said, look, many brokers have to give these risk disclosures where they state that CFD, all spread betting, risk of losing 75% of retail accounts, lose money uh, with this broker, okay? So we need to get into that 25%. Problem number two is you don't know how much money to put into a trade. So it feels like you're on a tightrope, okay? Let's say you've got this trade. Let's say you've got a trade like this. Okay, uh, you've got a trade like this and you're thinking, well, how much money do I put in? And the yellow line is your safety net. It's like you're climbing a tightrope across a building and that's your that's your safety net. That's your safety net, right? The yellow line is, oops, this, the yellow line is the safety net over there uh, uh, and that's where you've got it. So it feels a bit like this, right? How much money do I put in? How much could I lose? It's a central component of your business plan. So we're going to have to solve that as well. Also, you've got little capital. You might only want to start off with a thousand, but you don't want to be paying subscriptions, but yet you've got high hopes to make 
tens of thousands, okay? High hopes to make tens of thousands, indeed you have. Problem four, time is precious. So you don't wanna be a screen slave. You don't wanna be this guy at midnight. You don't wanna be looking at all of these, making your eyes go bloody crazy. So we're not gonna be doing that either. All right, we're gonna remove that problem. I'm gonna identify every single problem you've had with trading and my job in this webinar is to remove it. Problem five, you don't know who to trust. And these images in the background, you can see are just some of the numpties and their adverts that they have. Don't trust any of them. You know why? They're not regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority as hedge fund managers. Some of them, you know what they do? They start writing newsletters so they can write FCA regulate. Because for a newsletter, to get an FCA regulation is easy because you're just writing a bloody newsletter. To manage money, it's a different story. I launched my fund in 2004, okay? It was successful. We're not as big as Goldman Sachs. I wish we were, we should be. But what can I say? I can't, pers I can't put a gun to people's head to give us capital. We have pension funds. As a hedge fund, you're only allowed to have institutional investors. Institutional means pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, family offices. Okay, so we have Aegon, AXA. We have people like Tom Singh, founder of New Look. Um, Karen Bilamore, founder of um, Cobra Beer, okay, as investors. Uh, and, yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, my point is that's real credentials, not some numpty off the internet, right? So let me ask you a question. What's your 2020 goal? Maybe it's simple. Maybe it's to make a measly 10,000 pounds more, 10K more. All right, or some multiple of it, right? Some multiple of it. Freddie, I'll give you some broker guidance as well. All right, uh, Fred, Michael, you've both noticed there were lots of house builders. We went through the data. We've been good, right? We went through the data. We've been good at it. I don't care which sector they're in. Obviously, if you put all your money in just the house builders, you won't be diversified. So don't just put it in the house builders. But yeah, it's what the data shows, I'm afraid. And they might say, oh, but no, I'm not gonna trust the data. We always trust the data. We trust the data over human emotions, over newspaper articles. Because in our experience, human emotions and newspaper articles will mess us up. Our data will not. How do I know this? Well, going back to 2004 and looking at the returns, 10K to a quarter of a million pounds, and the link I gave you, you know, independently verified, there you go, boom. Anyway, to make 10,000 pounds, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? And obviously you might want to make, you know, once I did a webinar like this and people say, eh, this is nothing. I don't want to make a hundred thousand, 10,000. I want to make a million. I went, okay, just do a multiple if you want, right? Imagine you do just one trade. For argument's sake, let's just keep it really simple. Let's see you do one trade. Imagine you make 120 pounds on that trade, all right? We're just going to keep the maths really simple to start off with, okay? So, so, Samanda, uh, Freddie, I'll come to brokers in the brokerage section of the webinar. So to make 120 pounds, let's say you risk losing 80 pounds. So you had a stop loss, which was shown to you, and I'll show you how we come to our stop losses so you can see it uh, for yourself. And let's say you had a stop loss, and that stop loss uh, came back down to you, and uh, it showed that you were down, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, let's say 80 pounds, okay? That was the stop loss, you were down 80 pounds. We'll keep it, we'll keep it really relatively simple, right? Uh, sorry, just looking at a trade we've got on at the moment, which I'm going to share with you in a second. Now, which, if you have a thousand pounds of capital, is eight percent risk. That's a bit too high. But if you have five thousand, it's only one point six percent risk per trade. Fine. Imagine you win sixty percent of your trades as before. Nothing fantastic, just a bit better than a coin, right? If you do one trade a day or five in a week, so you might do five on Fridays, right? That's two hundred fifteen a year, approximately, isn't it? Yes. Got it. 250 times 60% times 120 means you make 18,000 pounds on your winning trades and 250 times 40% losing trades, 80 pounds and losses, 8,000 pounds losses. So in a year, you should make 10,000 pounds. That's a simple business plan. Now we're going to tweak that, obviously, right? Because we've got to allow for, well, what if your broker's a shyster and screws you and so you can't get these numbers? Well, we'll come to that. We've got to ask smart the brokers. I'll come to brokers I trust and which ones I like and don't like. Okay. Ray, absolutely. Ray says, I want to become profitable on emotional and mechanical. That's what we want. That is ideal trade. That's why, in case you haven't heard of them, uh, Renaissance Technologies, uh, Jim Simons, uh, AHL, uh, Winton Capital, okay, those are the best hedge funds are mechanical. Why? Because who the hell wants to have the emotional uplift? You know, up and down. All success in life is down to three Fs. All reasons we do anything in life. We do it either for fun, for fulfillment, or for funds, money. Okay, those are the three Fs of life. And that's the same with trading. If you can't have fun because you're a screen slave, you're not going to do it. If you can't make money, funds, that's just one part of the equation. If you don't find it fulfilling because it's emotionally draining, then you're not gonna do it. So my job is recognizing all of that, is to not just tell you a business plan, but actually show you how to implement it. Okay, so it becomes something you stick to. Uh, there's no point like me giving you a diet that you can't stick to, all right? It's, it's a similar kind of 
uh, logic that I've got to this as well. There's no point having something we can't stick to, all right? So we're looking at Google at the moment. I'll show you the Google trade in a second, people, right? So how are we gonna achieve some of this? How are we gonna achieve this? Let me ask you a question. If your goal is 10,000 pounds, you need a daily routine. I'm gonna give you a suggested daily routine. I'm gonna suggest 15 minutes a day, you scan instruments, and I've given you the names of some that I like for this year. I'll give you more later if you want, okay? Your strategy, you use your strategy or ours, I'll show you ours, which has the stop, the entry, the risk in terms of money, and what you do is one trade per day. That's what I'm going to recommend. Now, you might want to do more. And what you're going to do is you're going to scan the screen. I'm going to show you how to get data like this, which is free, live, and real time. You scan it for 15 minutes a day and find one trade per day. That's your routine. That way, you're not a screen slave. Because in 15 minutes, if you look at enough instruments, and I suggest you look at 12 to 24 of the instruments I've shown you, guess what will happen? You will find at least one good trade a day. Now, why one good trade a day, Alpesh? Because that's consistent with our overall business plan. If you want to increase the returns you want, you can do more than one trade a day because the amount of time you spend, but that's the cost, time you spend in front of the screen, all right? So that's why I've shown you the trade-offs. Now, you might say, well, how small can I start? Somebody asked me earlier, how small can I start? Let me show you how small you can start. This is how small you can start, okay? My preference is you start as small as possible. Well, lots of capital with the least amount of leverage. You might say, you're so boring, Alpish. I know, all right? Go slow. Don't try and race do a demo account first and then start with the smallest possible trades. This is one particular broker, right? Sterling US dollar. By the way, everything can be converted from lots into pip values, pounds per point, all right? Everything or dollars per point. All brokers will do that automatically for you. Sometimes people go, oh, uh, how many lots into, how do I calculate lots into, well, the broker bloody does it. Stop trying to work it out yourself, right? So you can do it as little as 39 pence, actually seven pence or seven cents a point. I'll come to brokers in a second. You can click on buy and you can even set a stop loss. So you can say, close this trade in sterling US dollar cable. I want to buy at one spot, 29.39 and close it at a loss if it drops 50 points or 19 pounds. It's all the risk you're taking. And close it at a profit if it closes that. Okay, how did you do that, Alpesh? What we did is we had this routine. We then scanned these instruments. Okay, and then we flicked over to our broker who might have been on our cell phone. And we did that and placed the trade. And boom, in 15 minutes, you were done. You know where your stop loss was. I'll show you how you know where to add to your winners, or you might have just said, I'll close and take a profit. So how do we find our entries? How do we know again how much money to put into a trade? I'll come to that now, okay? But this is just to show you the building blocks, the building blocks, and it's a lot I'm going through, but don't worry, you'll be able to go through it again. Okay, so let me ask you that question again. Would you trust a BBC presenting Financial Times award-winning regulated hedge fund manager? I hope you bloody well will. Okay, because my government trusts me. This is me at the UK India FinTech launch with the Chancellor of the Exchequer. I'm the one launching it. This is we with HRH showing them some FinTech companies. All right. Yeah, I'm something of a big deal in FinTech. Financial technology is like these algorithms. All right. This is me on Newsnight talking about international economic affairs, me at a charity function, blah, blah, blah. You don't really give a shit, do you, about me? This is me in my Financial Times columns. Uh, and this is an article about me called the Rainmaker. Okay. My point is, Nobody else has these credentials, so let's move on, shall we? But I don't want you to trust me. Boom, I don't want you to trust me. You know who I want you to trust? I want you to trust this guy, right? Would you trust the strategy used by, so let's go talk strategy, because um, he's the one who taught me everything. So when I wanted to be a trader, I was a u university student, I thought I better meet the world's leading traders. And I wanted to meet people like Bill Lipschitz, Global Head of Foreign Exchange at Salomon Brothers, right? People like Bill Lipschitz, and I thought, how do I get to meet him? And his chairman was Warren Buffett at the time, and this guy, Global head of foreign exchange trading at Salomon Brothers meant he was the biggest trader in the world because Salomon's was the biggest bank in foreign exchange trading at the time. So I approached him and I said, look, the Financial Times will publish a book called The Mind of a Trader, Lessons in Trading Strategy from the World's Leading Traders, published by me, Alpish Patel, if, 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 if you will, if you will agree to be in it. So he and nine others agreed to be in it. So I got 10 of the world's leading traders. They became friends and mentors and they all knew what I wanted to know. And because the excuse that I'd met them, what would you do if you got to meet the global head of foreign exchange trading at Salomon's? You'd ask him, how do I become rich? Well, you wouldn't put it in those terms. You'd say, tell me a strategy which will help me make lots of money. And that's what I did. I said, tell me a strategy which will help me make lots of money. And that's what he did. He said, well, look, you're a private investor. You don't have money to pay for 
data subscriptions. That's why I still hate them to this day. You don't have uh, money to pay for software. You don't have money to hire people to do clever quantum mathematics. So we'll have to do a simpler strategy. We'll have to strip out all the difficult bits um, and do it appropriate to a retail investor. So I'll share that with you. We now, now 20 years on, uh, we got uh, we got 10 algorithms or 10 trading strategies that we use. I'm going to give you my oldest and favorite one in this. And you might say, why are you sharing it? Well, actually, I've disclosed it in my Financial Times columns. I've disclosed it in uh, my speeches and my Bloomberg TV show anyway. So it's not anything new. And it wasn't mine. It was Bill Lipschitz to begin with anyway. So let's go through all of that, right? So let me ask you that question again. What if the strategy, thanks to software using artificial intelligence, i.e. patent recognition, can scan the market so you don't have to be a screen slave? Of course you'd want that. Look, I'll give you an example. Take Take this for example, okay, a short trade. Notice how, like I said, we didn't get in there. We didn't go short there, right? Everything needs to have a stop loss. This red dotted line is where we add to our position. It's not a profit target. I get so angry when people say profit targets and risk reward ratios, okay? Um, Ray said, do you take every single signal? Ray, you saw right at the start of the webinar, there's what, 9,000 instruments? We can't do 9,000 trades. OK, we take one trade a day. So obviously we don't take every single signal. We take one trade a day when we're scanning the market. So it has to be dependent on when we're scanning the markets, the signals we see and the quality of the signals. You see, if we took every single signal, think what would happen. Nine thousand instruments going at you, flashing constantly. We'd run out of money to put into every trade. Would you rather spray and pray or would you rather say, no, I'll pick the best signal at the time I'm watching the markets from what I can see? And I'll put my trade based on the amount of risk capital into that. That's the important thing. People don't realize that the mechanics of how trading actually works, how it actually works. Instead, what they do is they try and chase every single signal in the hope. Spray and pray, it's called. You don't spray and pray. OK, so we never spray and pray. Uh, so we need to work out, well, how do you know where your stop loss is? And how do you know how to double down into a position? And why are you doubling? Why are you adding to your winners? Well, like I said, and I won't go into too much detail on this, winners add to winners. That's what the best people uh, uh, will work. Um, Razor asks, okay, how do you know if your signal will work? I love it. Because I use a time machine to go back and go into the future. <laughs> how do you know it'll work? You don't. Remember, Ray, in the business plan, it said 60% are winning trades, 40% are losing is the base on which we're working. Um, I wish... I had a time machine and a crystal ball so I could see every signal wins. Anybody who tells you that, and if that's what you're looking for, somebody who tells you that 100% of signals all work, they're lying to you. Even the best hedge fund managers in the world are right about 60% of the time because when they're wrong, guess what? Their stop loss gets hit and they get out at a small loss and they don't care. And when they're right, boom, they add to the winners and that happens about 20% of the time, and that makes 80% of your profits because that's the real world. Now, if you're thinking that somebody's going to give you something which is going to be right 100% of the time, and yet they're not uh, uh, owning all the money in the world, you're asking to be lied to. How do I tell, judge quality of a signal? What I mean by quality of signal is uh, any signal on our system which comes up during that 15-minute period. That's it. That's That means it's a high quality because all the low quality uh, stuff is filtered out. All right. That's what I mean. So I'll show you the strategy in a second. I'll show you the strategy in a second so you can copy it if you haven't got your own. Uh, what if that CEO uh, uh, doesn't charge subscription costs? We don't do any. Um, we don't charge anything daily, weekly, monthly, annually, anything like that. OK, we don't do any of that. And I've written every single book there is to go on trading. All right. Now, my favorite time frames, Tim's asked me, how long do you typically in a trade for well, Tim, the best thing I can do is let me show you this, right? Let's have a look at something, right? Let's say, Tim, you've got a day job, okay? And you only want to do this uh, before and after work, okay? You only want to do this. Uh, Fred, thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you. Neil, I'll tell you how to get all of this and how to download it. Don't worry. So let's say you're only doing this before and after work. Well, look, this is the 30-minute bars. Each one of these bars is 30 minutes. This, this software, by the way, is called... Uh, MT4, many brokers offer it, it's free. The signals are by me. These arrows are generated by us. I'll show you how to download it in a second. Um, but the data is live real time and it's freely available for many brokers called MT4. That's not the important point. The signals, these indicators are, are mine. I'll show you how based on our strategy. But the important thing at the moment that you need to know is this, okay? Um, that signal, first of all, came on the 23rd at about 10 a.m. It lasted until the 27th. So a 30 minute bar generates one signal every, what was that, four days? This is still a live down trade, as you saw on the Telegram channel earlier. FTSE uh, is 
on the 27th and we are the 30th, so three days and we're still in. In other words, a 30 minute bar is still gonna get, it's gonna last three to four days. It's gonna last three to four days. Uh, Winston, yes, indeed. I always say start with a demo account. Okay, Tim, good man. I like it. Neither have I, my friend. I agree with you. Okay, so most people say, I've got a day job. What time frame should I be in? And they say, oh, I should be on daily. No, because the daily chart will give you way too few signals compared to the trend. Look at the trends. They've reversed already. How often do they reverse? We live in volatile times, my friends. They reverse. Look at this. This is reversed within the space of a week. Now, if you were looking at daily charts, you'd be screwed. This is reversed in the space of a week. We want to profit from the upward trend. We want to profit from the downward, which we got to do with this. We mechanized it. We were trading the 30 minute bars. That's why I keep saying 30 minute and one hour. People go, no, I want to trade the one minute bar so I can be in front of my screen all day long tapping the keyboard. Really? You want to be a screen slave? Be my guest. I'm not for you. If you want to be a screen slave or a slave of any type, I'm not for you. I want to do it efficiently, productively, effectively. That's it. Now, if you want to spend a bit more time and do more trades to earn more money, that's up to you. I'm giving you the bare minimum building blocks, okay? Let me ask a question. What if you had lifetime handholding and not stuck to a classroom? That's what you want. All these people trying to get you stuck to a bloody classroom and charge you 2,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds, shoot them, all right? I want to wipe them out off the face of this earth because they are the worst possible people, okay, uh, as well. All right. No, if you're trading, Jay, the 30 minute time frame, you don't need to worry for the same product. Look at this. Let's say I'm looking at the FTSE 30 minute bars. I don't care about the one minute or the four hour or the one day or the 50 year. Do I? Because I'm trading this time frame. It's in front of me. Why would I care about the others if I'm trading this? Because what we do with our algorithms, and I'll explain later, it already looks at the next time frame to generate this signal because it already knows in the longer term time frames and the shorter term time frames, which way the markets are going. So I don't need to scan all of those other time frames. It knows they're in and write this down, synchronicity, synchronicity, okay, as well. All right, um, that's the important thing, right, uh, as well, right? Chukwu um, uh, Bukwim, uh, uh, I can't pronounce your name, but yes, that's fine. If you want to start with real cash, I always say start with, say, a $1,000. By the way, if you, um, that's a number anyway for anybody who wants to ever speak to me. Uh, the problem we have is, uh, actually, I've I illustrated this problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to forward to this bit. The business plan and the trading strategy, because I've got a lot of questions. People want to download this. They want to know the entry signal. So let's do the entry signals. Um, that's my mom. Always makes an appearance, as you know, in my webinars. The road to rich, what a crass word. Why did I use that? Well, it's because what one of the fund managers told me. It's what one of the fund managers uh, told me. Oh, I better end this poll, right? There's the poll regarding sterling US dollar. Sterling US dollar, there's the poll, all right? More polls. I'm gonna give you one more poll. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What, no, do, 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 do. Where's it gone? Right, let's do this one. All right, we're gonna do more polls because it keeps people uh, interactive on it. I love doing polls. We can share the results, right? So let's do the business part and then the entry section. How do we enter? Now trading, from all I've told you, might look a bit like driving. And this is how Bill Lipschitz explained it to me. All right, remember Global Head of Foreign Exchange for Salmon Brothers when he was in my book? This is how he explained it to me. He said, you know, it seems a bit overwhelming. You've got a rear view mirror, you've got a steering wheel, you've got a, a, a wing mirror, you've got all of this brake, clutch, ignition. It seems too complicated and you think I'm going to give up but you persist. And that's how I want you to look at trading. It might look like you've got six things to do. It is you've got six things to do, but they're worth learning. To do that, we need to do the business plan. Let me just go through a business plan again. This is the one he gave me, and this is a business plan I want some of you to look at right now and consider, and this is it. And then I'll show you how we do our entries so you can do it manually yourself, or if you wanna automate it using our indicators, uh, you can do it using our indicators, which we think is the Google of trading, which we spun out of our hedge fund, okay? These indicators. But if you want to do it manually, I'll give you the manual rules as well. So let's do the business plan first. Maximum loss, okay, 1% of total capital is, is what he said we'll play with first. So he said, it's a business plan. It's where we intend to get to. So imagine, because it's in where we intend to get to, we'll eventually have, not today, through friends, family, whatever else, like any business, uh, will have 20,000 pounds in capital. Now, you might think that's a million miles away from where I am today. Yeah, it's in the future, 12 months from now. This time next year, when you're speaking to me, if that seems like all the world, money in the world, it's where you'll intend to get to, okay? So is it worth going in this journey? Is it worth it? That's what the business plan is. Then we'll look at the entries and how to download all of this. Is it worth it? I'm gonna just end that poll now. People think Trump's gonna win. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right, okay? So, uh, 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 bum, bum. 
uh, what's your risk capital? I want to ask this poll as well, right? Don't worry, it's totally anonymous, right? Now, total capital, £20,000. Maximum loss per trade, 1% of 20,000 will be 200 pounds. Win-loss ratio, as ever, 60-40, right? 60 trades out of 100 are profitable. Now, you might say, why not more? I hope for you there will be more. As you get better, they will be more. But on day one, I want to make a pessimistic assumption so we overshoot it, okay? We exceed our expectations. That's how we want to be. So let's assume we're just a bit better than a coin. The average loss is 200 pounds. The average win, because winners add to winners, we're going to pick a strategy where if we're not in front of the computer, we have a trailing stop loss So we we and we add to our winning trades, right? And I'll show you how we know when to add to our winning trades. So guess what happens? Because of that, we earn more when we win than we lose when we lose. So what happens with average win 300 pounds, average loss 200 pounds, okay? All right, that now, Bill said to me, so Alpesh, imagine you do 100 trades. Imagine you did 100 trades. Marguerite, thank you very much. Uh, uh, okay, um, uh, 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 so, uh, oh, Jay, the answer is yes to your question, all right? Jay, the answer is yes to your brilliant question. Um, now, 100 trades. So we're going through this with Bill, because I was at university. Remember, I had no silver spoon in my mouth. I was at university deciding whether or not I wanted to trade. So Bill literally said to me, he said, well, let's, let's break this down. So 60 of those were profitable trades, 300 pounds, profits, 18,000 pounds, remember. 40 were losing 8,000 pounds in losses. And I went, Bill, what? This is, we're just, this is on paper. This is theoretical, remember? when I was at university. And I said, Bill, this is amazing. This is more money than I've ever seen in my life. I was at university, remember, net profits, 10,000 pounds per 100 trades. I told him, tell my parents, I want to leave university. All I want to do is trade, nothing else. All I want to do is trade and that's it, okay? I don't want to uh, uh, do anything else. I don't want to do anything else, right? Because it was more money than I'd ever seen. So tell them I'm leaving university. And he said, well, wait a minute, calm down. I said, no, 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 no. So I started, I got really excited. I got my calculator out. I said, look, Bill, I, I can be a day trader. I can do a hundred trades per week. And over 50 weeks, that's 5,000 trades per annum, which is 500,000 pounds in profit. Because remember, it was 10,000 pounds per hundred trades. So if I did a hundred trades every week, then over 50 weeks, I'd make 5,000 pounds, 5,000 trades per annum, which would be half a million pounds. Now, I know what you're all thinking, because I got carried away with my calculator. I know what you're all thinking. Oh, don't be stupid. We're not going to do 90% of that, three quarters of that, two thirds of that. We're not even going to do half of that. We're not going to do uh, a, a third or a quarter or a fifth or even 15% of that. Let's say we did 10% of that. Let's say my business plan was clearly over optimistic and we did 10% of that. Well, okay. So we scale down our business plan. So we only do 10% of it. Is it a business worth doing trading? Well, hang on. 50,000 pounds is way more than the thousand. Remember our baby steps goal. I know I'm boring um, saying this, but our baby step goals are 1K per month. It's just 1K per month. That's all our baby step goal is. So, so Bill said to me, S dial it down. I said, okay, fine. Because he didn't want me actually to leave university, obviously, and drop out. He said, let's say you keep your day job. I was training to be a lawyer after university. He said, keep that for a second. I said, okay. He said, let's say you did 100 trades per six months. You know what that is? It's one a day. Remember how I told you basic business plan? Let's start off with just one trade a day. Just one trade a day. All right. Fine. And remember, we can start from, some of you are saying you're just looking. That's great because you should start off with zero capital. You should learn and then monitor the markets. Just write it down what trades you'd place and then decide, oh, yeah, this is something I might want to apply capital to. You don't start a business with millions in it. First, you research the market. And there's some of you uh, here with over $5,000, 10000 Well, we want to make you more profitable. Okay, you're closer to this achieving this business plan. Uh, all right. So that's good in terms of everybody and what we're all looking to do and achieve in our goals. But, but, but there's an issue. There's an issue we haven't answered yet, which is that's fine, Alpesh. But if we did one trade a day, which is 100 trades or 200 trades per annum, well, based on this math, we'd make 20,000 per month. Uh, sorry, per annum, 20,000 per annum, which is a lot less than the 10% goal we had. But, but, so it's about 4% of our business plan, right? But it's still way more. It's almost double the 1K per month, which was our actual business plan. So we don't actually even need to do 4% of our business. Plan. In fact, 1K per month is about, it's about 1.5% of our business plan. So that's a business worth doing. Now, some of you might say, no, 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 no. 
I want to try and get closer to those other targets. That's fine. All it means you've got to do more trades. Will you be able to do more trades? Hell yes. By the way, that FTSE is going to as low as it's been throughout. Okay. Um, Tim said to me, brilliant question. How many trades could an ambitious person with plenty of time aim for? Actually, Tim, time is not the real constraint. The real constraint is the capital. The more trades you do, um, remember, they're going to have to take time to bake. It's like baking cakes. How many people could bake it? Look at this trend. You can't accelerate that trend. Now you might say, oh, no, that's fine. I'll, push. I'll just do a one-minute trade. Uh, I'll trade on the one-minute bars. Yeah, but the one-minute bars would mean that although you're doing more trades, the trend is smaller because the market can't move too much in a minute, can it? So what you're constrained by is physics. Literally, physically, the FTSE can't move as much as you'd like it to. And human mind can probably focus on having five to six open positions at any given time. And you want to concentrate your capital. What would you rather do? Have a thousand trades open and put like a penny in each? Or would you rather have three trades open and concentrate your firepower and capital? Right? So do you see how there's a balance between all of that? So what I'd say is you can still hit the same goals, but you'd probably look to say double, do three or four in a day, maybe five trades in a day max. OK, because, because let's say the next day, all those trades are still open. You can't do another five trades. You've used all your capital up. You must say, no, 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 I won't use all my capital. up. Well, if you didn't use it up, what a waste because you had five great trades. Do you see what I'm saying? So when I say five trades in a day, you might do five. But the next day you'll have none because all those five trades are still open and brewing and making you money. They're growing. They're trending. And you say, no, 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 no. I'll trade a shorter time and I'll get the hell out of them quicker. But if you're getting out of them quicker, you're doing them half baked and you're making less money than you could have done. Then letting them get, do you see the interaction? That's why in this webinar, you know, 20 years experience as a hedge fund manager, I can tell you, um, I'm saving you a lot of mistakes you might otherwise be making. So what about this? Um, 20,000 pounds per annum. That, well, the question you should be asking is the same question I asked Bill when he showed me these figures is, well, Bill, wait a minute. If these numbers are correct, then how come everybody isn't rich? You should all be asking me that. And he said to me, there's three reasons. Key reasons for failure, bad teachers, bad mentors and bad strategies. So let's talk about strategies. Let's talk in this final section of the webinar, stop losses, entry, the actual strategy he taught me, which if you don't have your own, you can do, but also, 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 we'll do the Q&A where we'll look at brokers and everything else and how I mentor people and the results I've generated for them and the people that I've made um, uh, uh, incredibly successful. I'll show you those as well and where they're working now at some of the biggest funds in the world. I'll show you their pictures and faces and names. That's my mum again, right? 100 trades for six months, 200 trades per annum, 20,000 pounds per annum. No, that wasn't it. Pay attention. We're only going for 1K, okay? 1K per month, okay? 1K per month, 1K per month. All right, the kid, good, good response. I'll come back to that in a second. Tim, you're absolutely right, my friend. You're absolutely right. So like I said, strategies, let's focus on strategy. So the strategy Bill talked to me about, the one he said, look, it's better for me as a private investor. Simple private investor, it's simple enough. Because look, let's face it, you're not, and even in our hedge fund, we don't have supercomputers. We don't have the ability to do things too overly complicated, but we want to be more sophisticated than those fools who look at trend lines and supports and resistances, which haven't worked now for about 10 years. Okay, so Bill said to me, look, we're going to do momentum or trend following, which is what the biggest hedge funds do, right? Winton, AHL, Aspect Capital, um, they're all trend following uh, hedge funds. Renaissance Technologies, all of them, the biggest in the world. And we're just going to try and ride on their coattails. So when a Goldman Sachs, which is the guy in the black coat, moves the markets, we're going to be this guy. That's us, the one in the red jacket, okay? We're going to ride their coattails. They move the market, they create the momentum, we get on the back of it. Why? Well, that way we're not gambling by trying to stand in front of them and guess which way the market's going to go or try and guess the news. Because if you're guessing the news and guess which way the market's going to go, guess what you're actually doing? You're, you're gambling. You might as well go to Ladbrokes, okay? But if instead you're riding their coattails, you've got a higher um, uh, 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 um, Clark. Uh, it's not on the wrong side, my mate. My friend, it's on the right side in Britain. <laughs> um, let's say uh, you're 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 looking at the trend following uh, market going sideways, like going uh, in a sideways market. You're not going to enter those trades, are you? You're going to just ride it that way across. You're going to ride it that way across. You're going to be trend following. You're going to be. It's a higher odds of probability. So he, as I said to him, well, how am I going to measure momentum? He said, look, there's many different ways. Simple way we're going to look at, we're going to look to see how close to the high does the price close in any given period. 
Um, I said, why? And he goes, well, psychologically, whenever that happens, it means it's like those TV auctions. I've got 40, any beginning of 50. I've got 50, any beginning of 60. I've got 60, any beginning of 70. Whenever there's that kind of buying pressure in any time frame, it suggests there's an increased probability the price will move higher in the next period. Not a certainty, but an increased probability. So he said, um, so I said, well, what am I supposed to do? Look at a magnifying glass? No. We're going to use three essential components, all hedge funds, all good traders do, and logic should suggest this as well. He said, the way we're going to measure this is through multiple indicators. I said, why multiple indicators? Why not just one magic secret indicator? He said, because no one indicator works all the time. Okay, some things work some of the time, so we're going to use it as a triple filtration method, as a filtration method. Write that down. And we're going to use these indicators because I was a poor student. We're going to use the ones which are out there in the public domain, but not use them the way the textbooks do. Because if textbooks were accurate, textbook writers would be rich, okay? They wouldn't be writing bloody textbooks. So multiple indicators to filter the bad signals only when all of them are in synchronicity, all of them point in the same way, all right, uh, that way. Two, we're going to look at multiple time frames, right? So what we'll do is he said, and at that time, 20 years ago, I had to do it manually. Now we have the computer to do it for me. Now I have the computer. Then it was all manual, multiple time frames. We'll look at not just the time frame we're trading, but the next time frame. Because in the next time frame, it's a bit like when you're at the seashore and you see this, the waves come in. Sometimes they tickle your toes and sometimes they blow you over, but you haven't moved. Why is that? That's because you haven't looked further ahead. And you've seen when waves are in synchronicity, waves of money, for instance, there's the metaphor, or in synchronicity, you get a bigger wave, i.e. a bigger trend, a bigger move. And we're looking for bigger moves and higher probability moves. That's why we look at multiple time frames, right? To see if the synchronicity between the indicators, but not the way the textbooks are looking. So I'll tell you that. And then, then the third thing he told me we had to do, and this is essential. Most people, they copy point number one, uh, uh, and that's not enough. You've got to do all three. The third one was PC plus PR, and I'll explain that in a second, what those two things are, right? And this is the logic of what all hedge funds do, right? All successful traders. I wrote a book uh, which was launched by Barclays Bank about three years ago, uh, and the book was on trading, and we'd analyzed the data from thousands of accounts at a brokerage, anonymized data. Uh, it was anonymized before GDP, uh, um, anonymized data to see if traders were, the profitable ones were doing certain things differently to the unprofitable ones. Were they, were they men? As opposed to women, were they holding things? Were, were you know, were you more likely to profit if you were holding certain trades long and certain short at certain times of the day? If you were going, um, if you were making more money uh, by uh, uh, trading for a shorter period of time than longer on a different time frame to another, was there a higher probability of being wrong if you held a position beyond a certain time frame, and so on and so forth? Okay, so we wanted to look at all that data, big data analysis, because we wanted an edge. We wanted to see is there something there? And the reason the broker gave it to us is because we're writing a book. If you write a book, they'll give you access to anything. I told you it's the secret to get access to the richest traders in the world and the best data in the world. So this data really helped us um, augment this. And then Barclays Bank did the book launch. Anyway, that's an aside. My point to you is this. We put all of this into this, right? And what we had to do, however, for private investors is keep it really simple, right? So how do we keep it simple? Well, we started using indicators which are already out there, but in a way the textbooks don't. So we use the common indicators which measure is the price closing near the high, but like the MACD, the stochastic, the RSI, none of those work all the time, but we use them all in synchronicity in a way the textbooks don't. We look to see are they flat to rising? So we look at multiple indicators. Are they flat to rising across multiple timeframes? Are they flat to rising across multiple time frames? Because some of these indicators are too early, some are too late. And sometimes they're just plain wrong. That's why you use multiple indicators to be in synchronicity. Okay, they're all showing the same thing at the same time. Flat to rising multiple times, but that wasn't enough. You then had to look at multiple time frames to get a higher probability of a bigger move, but that wasn't enough. The third thing you had to do was price confirmation. What's price confirmation? It is this. Has the price made a two-period high? In other words, has other people put money into it? There's no point being the cleverest person in the room and seeing something which if Goldman Sachs, I'll show you how to download it. Don't worry, don't worry. Somebody is screaming at me. Okay, I'll show you how to download the indicator if you want, but these are the manual rules. So we used to do it all manually before, and that's going back to the FTSE, which I showed you on the Telegram channel earlier. Okay, that was the short trade. What that had happened at that point is multiple indicators across multiple time frames were flat to falling, because it's a short trade, flat to falling, okay, and the price made a two-period low, which meant Goldman Sachs or whoever, I don't care who, had moved it low. I didn't care what the news was, because what I cared about was, has it happened? Has it broken down? Now, we can't get in at the tops and bottoms. Nobody can, because nobody has a crystal ball. But that's what real trading is. It's making enough money, lots of money, okay, as well, right? 
And then we use the arrows to show us where the trades are. Now, that's all fine. That's all fine. That's trend following or momentum trading. But I said there was PC, that's price confirmation. So what was PR? Remember, I said there were three things. There were three things, multiple indicators, flat to rising or flat to falling, not the, i.e. not the way the text which is in multiple time frames. So you've got the higher probability of a bigger move, synchronicity, so you remove bad indications. But there was a, not just price confirmation, there's PR. PR was pattern recognition. Pattern recognition is we looked at the patterns for preceding 20 periods and we build a library of that. We then put it into Microsoft Azure, which is their artificial intelligence engine, which then gives us the probability that the patterns of the preceding 20 periods are an increased probability of a move. Combine it with all those things and you've got something which gives you the edge. So you know what we did? You know what we did? This. I perfected the strategy initially manually. That's me at University Red Carnation, last exam. Perfected the strategy and then manually had to use it. And I won it, uh, used it when I was at university to win competitions. That's me, Patelli's FTSE 100 top forecast on the front cover of the business section of the Financial Times. Front cover of the business section of the Financial Times. Okay. That's some of the, the fact FT then said, wow, you won the competition over a 12 month period to forecast the markets. You beat everybody else. Do you want to write a book? And I said, yeah, because I want to set up a hedge fund. And to sit right, if I write a book, it'll raise my profile so I can raise capital from pension funds. And that was the strategy and it worked. Okay. So in the FT, this is me winning the competition, Alpish Patel, number one. Okay. Number 14 was Neil Woodford. This is over 10 years ago. Neil Woodford. He was rubbish then. He's rubbish now. But you know what he did, which I didn't? It's not that he won this. You know what happened? He came 14th. He just beat Jasper the bloody cat. He was so shit then. We in the industry knew it, but he was able to get money because he got the distribution links with the stockbrokers. I didn't. The stockbrokers liked him. You know, tall, good-looking man. I don't know. Maybe I was too fat and podgy. Anyway, they didn't go for me. Uh, they went for him. Now they're regretting it. Okay, I'm still available if you're watching Hargreaves Lansdowne, right? Financial Times said, will you write a weekly diary? If you're so good, why don't you write a weekly diary? Okay. Marcelo's our strategy for best results is based on one hour chart. Uh, no, best results will come from, I'll show you that in a second, actually. I, I answer exactly that question in a second. Was there a sell signal for the long position in FTSE? Yes, Tim. Um, the sell on the longs, um, the, the exit happens in two ways. If you're in front of the screen, it shows a red cross that you can monitor. If you're not in front of the screen, you just have the trailing stop loss. Remember, there's a stop loss that comes up, which is based on the volatility of the markets. That just becomes a trailing stop loss and gets you out at a profit anyway. So that's the sell signal, as it were. You don't have to wait for the signal uh, because you just have the trailing stop loss to tell you. And the stop loss is based on volatility of the markets. So it's bespoke to every single volatility of every instrument, which is scanned 24-7 in any event by all of that. So anyway, Merrill Lynch, HSBC, then licensed the software. They weren't the only ones. There were several others. They paid about a million dollars over a couple of years. That paid for the hedge fund because that's how much it costs to pay the auditors, the accountants, the custodian bank, the law firms. Uh, we use Simmons and Simmons to set up the fund. Uh, Walkers in the Caymans set it up. We're a UK asset management company. Uh, so we're regular out of the UK. Anyway, it costs a lot of money to do those things. Uh, that's what got me to where I am. I mean, that's what got me all the TV programs. You've probably seen me. I speak to about 300 million people on the uh, on Bloomberg. I'm um, sorry, on BBC. I used to have my own show on Bloomberg uh, before I set up the hedge fund. Then conflict of interest meant I had to let go of that show. I'll show you how to download it in a second. Okay, so you see me on TV. And I, they asked me about market turmoil as they did there, right? And I will always refer back to the algorithms. I'll always say, well, according to our indicator, um, this is what we're expecting. And sometimes they come back to me and they go, oh, shit, you were right about oil and all the rest of it. Then what happened when I was doing all of this is thousands of people said to me, oh, will you be our coach and mentor? I went, no, there isn't enough time. They said, can we copy your trades and follow your trade? I said, no, there's not enough time. Will you give training workshops and seminars? Are you kidding? I've got a business to run. There just wasn't enough time. So I left it all. Uh, but then I, I was always curious about this. I used to ask people. I used to get really pissed off by these people charging you two grand for a weekend and all this bollocks. You know, these people with their trading rooms, their trading academies and trading schools and trading institutes and trading universities. They all call themselves institute schools, scammers, right? Trading scam school, trading scam institute, trading scam university, trading scam academy. That's what it is, right? And I always used to get intrigued. And I said, well, what, what, what's the ideal for you guys? And people would say, well, we want something which we can do at our own pace, have the software so you can see what we're doing. We can see what you're doing all the time. Have you mentoring us one-to-one, -one, not charge us anything every day, every week, every month, no subscription cost, something which is convenient. We can do it at three o'clock in the morning. We can email you, we can speak to you, uh, compatible with work, no hotel or travel costs because we could be in different parts of the world. Live training practice market seven, 24 hours a day, six days a week. We want ongoing support for life because, oh, but if you think you're shit hot, why would you not 
um, teachers until we're profitable because we should be profitable straight away. I said, no, it's all fair enough. And there just wasn't enough technology available to do this. So we left it for a while. Then, you know, people were doing it manually and I was doing it manually. But, you know, people, when they were putting these roles in manually, what would happen is they'd just get a bit overwhelmed because, you know, they've got to look at this here. I've only got four charts up, but they've got to look at these charts and they go, well, you know, manually, I'm not so sure, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so it became a little bit, by the way, Metro Bank, uh, we got the short signal on Metro. Um, Metro has been a bit up and down for us today. We had a long on the 11th of December. Uh, uh, we had a short on the, the reason I'm looking at Metro is my in-laws, um, has specifically asked me to because they've got a safety deposit box with Metro Bank. Anyway, long story. Um, short, which was fine. Uh, then we had a long position, uh, which has been great. And now we've got a short position, which is slightly in the money at the moment. But just so you want to know, it's there. Metro is a short trade. Uh, at the moment based on multiple indicators, multiple timeframes. I'll show you how to download it. I'm going to give you the link in one second. Give me five minutes. Okay. So we thought, well, how do we automate all of this? Because people are just finding it overwhelming to do it manually. And manually is fine, but they're finding it a bit difficult. And after all, we automate everything else in life. I mean, you know, nobody wipes the floor physically except me uh, because I'm a bit of a stickler for that. But, you know, you've got your hoovers and vacuum cleaners, right? Because without an indicator, this is what trading has become. So we thought, how do we solve this problem? You know, as a hedge fund, how do we use all the technology we've created that we use internally to solve this and make it worth our while? Because we want to talk in the billions. We don't want to be sort of in the uh, uh, business of how holding classes necessarily. Uh, uh, and with an indicator, we knew we could turn people into this. All right. So then we thought to ourselves, um, we gave, we put this down into an indicator and we gave it to a few people to try just to see what would happen. You know, if it was something people could follow and not. And we found that their confidence levels shot up after they had it. We found that they had lower stresses over losses because they had stop losses identified based on the volatility of the market. They knew they had a business plan for the long term because we gave it to them. They knew their kind of exits, entries, and stop losses. Then they said to us, well, we, can you just teach us a bit more? We want to know a bit more than just blindly following uh, a, a black box. <clears throat> So, okay, so I put my materials together from my books, which I'd already written, so it wasn't very difficult. We just put it online in terms of videos, infograms, uh, and stuff like that, so they could learn in a modern way, you know, little bite size. and I'll show you that in a second. And that way, they felt it was more than just, you know, black box, you know, we've got to follow these rules. They got to understand it a bit more. So we put it all together. We called it Project Pits Predator, which is basically buy when the price goes up at the horizontal line, it confirms price momentum is there. So we did that. Okay, we put it in those terms. And uh, what we discovered is that people loved it because it, it gave them alerts on their cell phones if they wanted it. But ideally, I wanted them in front of the screen. Okay, and uh, uh, we said, well, okay, does it answer your biggest trading challenges? What are they? And does it answer them? Because that's what we want to do. We want to remove every single problem. Michael, I'll come to brokers in a second. Okay, uh, Tim said, do you mean hitting the stop rather than a sell signal? Tim, if you're in front of the screen, you've got a sell signal, haven't you? Because you're in front of the screen and it'll tell you, it'll tell you with a red cross. So there's there's two things to exit. You can either have a trailing stop loss, which can be take you out at a profit as well, because it's trailing at a profit, okay, as well as through a loss, or a sell signal, which will alert you to sell. Either way uh, will get you exited, okay? Michael, I'll come to your question in a second. So we did this, and then I thought, this could be a billion dollar business. Anything I've done in life, I've copied billionaires. I got into the hedge fund business because billionaires were in it, people like Bill Lipschitz, okay? I looked at something called the Apprentice Program. I thought, well, Donald Trump's a billionaire and he takes on apprentices. Um, Lord Sugar is an, a billionaire, he takes on apprentices. Jeff Bezos is the founder of Amazon who was a hedge fund manager who then got into technology. I thought, why don't we combine all of this, right? Uh, and we created the technology behind it. We created, we put this into technology. We think it's the Google of trading because Google scans the internet for information. Well, this scans price data for information, information of when multiple indicators, flat to rising, multiple timeframes, price confirmation, artificial intelligence, pattern recognition using Microsoft Azure. So we did all of that. And it qualified each price move to give buy and sell signals. It told us buy and sell signals on our cell phones if we wanted it. Don't use cell phones, please. You're on your cell phones enough. Just keep looking at the screen for 15 minutes a day. That's it. Uh, more if you want. Rising and falling markets as well. And then we analyzed the time frames because private investors said, well, but I want to know a time frame. I want to know. So I said, okay, look, this is why we say the one hour is the best, but you can use 30 minute and 15 minute, as I've shown on this, all four hours. A typical number of trades in a month, 25. 
Okay, that's 2,250 net pips captured. Some months that might be as high as 4,000. Other months it might be zero net pips captured. Net winning minus losing. It just depends on the markets. But that's not the point. The months you make more, you save for the months you make less. So you're consistently making 1,000 uh, per month. Because if you can make 1,000, you can make two. If you can make two, you can make four. But this number, 2,250, is important. The best winning streak was 70 winning trades out of 100. The worst was 30 winning out of 100. That's not what's important. It's the 2,250 uh, net pips captured, which is important across 25 trades. Let me explain what happened. The typical maximum stop loss by the time our loss got hit, okay, was uh, Odinaka UK, UK company. Uh, uh, typical maximum loss was 50 pips. Position size, let's say you did a massive $2 per point. Now, whether you do spread bets, CFDs, or futures, or options, you can translate everything into dollars or pounds per point. Now, that's too high a risk, but let's say you did it, because you'd lose 2,000, sorry, 200, 2 times 50, 200, sorry, $100. But bear with me a second. 2 times 2,250 across a month would mean you'd make $4,500 a month. Well, hang on. I said our goal isn't 4500 a month. It's 500 to 1000 a month. It's 10% of that, which meant we could start off with 20 cents a point. 20 cents a point. Why is that important? 20 cents a point on a brokerage? Because it means you're just risking $10 a trade to get your 500 to 1000 dollars per month. That's when we knew we had a mass market product, a Google of trading, something suitable to absolutely everybody. Okay, and when I ask people on a poll like this, what are the biggest problems you want to solve? I wanted to know, are we solving it? And we found people said entries were the biggest problem. Well, this tells you the exact time to enter right across products uh, as well, because it tells you when to enter based on multiple indicators by scanning the markets on every time frame. So it's improving your trading and your system, which you can overlay with it. What about when to take profits? Through its trading stop loss or through the red arrows, which tells you the momentum has run out, the signals no longer apply. It tells you that psychology, it removes the problems of psychology of, oh, do I buy now, sell now, is it long on this? No, because it's an automated system that you're following. You're following it. It's trader assistance, like power assisted driving. Okay, and how much risk? Well, it's telling you precisely, uh, as we have, for instance, down here, does the calculation for you. Tells you, uh, 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 right, 25 pips is the stop loss. Therefore, uh, uh, if you, you can work out, okay, how much you're going to risk losing uh, based upon that okay it's as simple as that you can work out it works out for you that are oh, right if i do one pound a point i will lose a, a a lot more let's do it on for instance euro us dollar one hour bars okay this is what we're looking at now by the way this is also why if you take nothing else from this webinar take this i want to show you something really important notice this bit where the green arrow shows notice how you had basically from the 20 whatever 6th of december uh, uh all day long in which to get in because the price stayed around the entry level. Any good trading system should give you ample time to enter, ample time to enter before it explodes up. And we don't have risk reward ratios because I'll tell you why. Imagine you capped your profit at that red dotted line. Well, you'd have missed out on this massive gain, which would have been one of your best in the year. Instead, we winners add to winners. We start with a small position, knowing if we get to a first profit target, we'll double our position. If we get to the second profit target, we'll double our position. And they each have their own stop losses, which are listed all over here, okay, and calculated for us. The reason this helps you trade, it's like putting on a Batman suit. It makes you into a better fighter, okay, into a superhero and improves your own trading is because it tells you where those bits are. So eventually, right, it becomes second nature. And then you get the big trend. Then you get the big trend. Now, is every trade like this a big winning trade? No, this is live trade. This is on now, right, by the way. Is every trade like this? No, I wish it were. We don't have a crystal ball. Neither does any hedge fund manager in the world. This is one of the 10 um, strategies that we use in our hedge fund. So you might say, can I set up my own hedge fund? Yes, if you can persuade a pension fund to give you millions like I did, sure you can, but you're probably not gonna be able to do that. So you're just gonna make money for yourself, which is fine. That's why you're not gonna put me out of business either. All right, just in case people are wondering, ooh, I can go off and set my own hedge fund up. So I'll show you how to download it if you want. It's our Google of trading. It's our technology business. We've got this fintech company out of our hedge fund. And we realize we've got something nobody else has. We've got all of this. I'm a visiting fellow at Oxford University, by the way. Uh, I lecture there annually. Uh, I was paid by Bloomberg TV in my own TV show and Financial Times to write my diary of an internet trader column. If you're interested, a pound a word is what Financial Times paid me, uh, which is why my wife says I talk so much. Uh, professionally trained communicator, I was a barrister before I moved into trading. Now, remember, as a barrister, I was guaranteed to be a multimillionaire. 
I gave that up because I wanted what trading would give me, which even being a barrister didn't. And you know what that was? You know what trading gave me? Freedom. The freedom to do whatever I wanted. Okay. Um, uh, Elijah, yes, indeed. I'll give you that um, as well. Raj, uh, email me about that. It depends on the brokerage, Raj. Sounds like uh, um, ba 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 ba. Uh, yes, Tony, have a look. At, so I said earlier on, since 2004, independently by a third party. But also, when you look at this, you can go through all the signals historically. So when you go through the indicator, it shows you all the signals going back to the start of the data um, as well. So it's all there. Plus, I gave you the URL earlier for the Financial Times uh, uh, company as well. Okay, um, Raj, just message me and we'll check up on that for you. All right, so this is what we found. So the issue is, can it make money? Yes, because I'll show you that. Um, is it easy to do? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, Rob in January is the answer. Um, can you do it any time with a day job? Yes, because that's what we do. My day job is not putting signals into an indicator. I've got people in the office to do that. My job as a CEO of a firm is to attract more capital from venture capital, from um, uh, uh, pension funds. Sovereign wealth funds. That's why when you see me on Facebook and all the rest, of it, I'm sometimes in South Korea. I'm in Silicon Valley. I'm in Japan. All the rest of it. Okay. How much does it make? Let me show you some more trades. Does it make life easier? Yeah, because we'll give you the same checklist and manual that I give trainees into my firm. The reason we take trainees who know nothing about trading is because they're cheaper. Okay. That's why Raj. That's exactly correct um, as well. So Euro Dollar five minute bars. This is full disclosure. One of my apprentices, not me. Downwards, three hours, 75 pips, including additional positions, 75 times $30 per pip, $2,250, okay? $2,250 is how much he made. I'm not going to go through every single one. The trick is the additional positions. That's our secret source. That's the bit that people don't realize in the pattern recognition engine that we have, which has an increasing library of patterns that we produce, okay? Um, there you can see the red crosses. If you're in front of the computer, you'd use those to exit. If you're not in front of the computer, you just use a trailing stop loss, which would take you out of the profit because it would just trail this price. And if the price moves down too much, it'll exit. Very simple. Okay, why is it a massive $30 a pip? Well, because he started off small, then when he was consistent, it probably gradually increased it, gradually increased the amount. Who's behind it? Uh, somebody just asked, uh, who's behind it? Okay, here, how about this for a reference? Gets to the heart of the matter of trading by clearly elucidating the methodologies of successful trading strategies. Clearly elucidating the methodologies of successful trading strategies. That's on the cover of a Financial Times book uh, about my trading strategy, okay? Uh, Clark, yes, you can. Uh, the links on there. Um, chairman of the Chicago Board of Trade said that. In fact, 20% of our users are from the United States. 20% are on the United States. Uh, Sylvain, I agree with you. Don't go to eToro. No issues there. Okay. Gets to the heart of the matter of trading. By That's a pretty big reference. Okay. If you want more references, the Financial Times competition I won, and the fact that I forecast the markets for over 20 years, 20 years track record from BBC and Bloomberg of the markets, and let alone that our, um, our fund, Profinium, uh, has been going since 2004, and the independent third party verification from ShareScope of our track record as well over the longer term uh, selections. Uh, since 2004, they've been doing it in real time. Okay, so we did this, we did this, okay? What we started doing was this, 25 trades, 100 trades each. We gave people a before and after. After the indicator, the number of profitable trades that turned to a loss decreased substantially for these guys. And the number of big losing trades dropped substantially. Remove those two things and you're already going to profit. If I said to you guys, however your trading is at the moment, if I can remove your profitable trades which become losing, so you uh, uh, keep them at a profit, would you be profitable? You're going to put your hands up. If I say if I remove your big losing trades, are you going to be profitable? You're going to put your hands up. That's what started happening. People from this to this, this to this. That's what we want to do. So all this is, it's a means of turning you from that to that. That's all it is. Without an indicator, this is what's happening. People are digging one hole after another with an indicator. It is this. And then I said to people, you know what? I want you to do this risk-free. I want you to do it without any risk. I want you to try this, not for seven days, not for 14, not for 20, for 30. I want you to give me your honest assessment after 30 days. That's the only requirement I have uh, because I want to take that to venture capitalists. 
what we're doing is we're building up to a thousand profitable traders. We've done about 800 through the program so far. I take them in batches of 25 because I meant all them myself. Okay, I meant all them myself. All right, we take them. Uh, uh, no quibble money back guarantee. You don't have to do any trades if you don't want. Start with a demo account, just observe the markets if you want, all right? And what we did, the reason I did it that way, and in fact, you can start tonight and start trading with me. Download it tonight and start trading euro, US dollar tonight if you want. What we started doing with this, and the reason we did it this way round, is it allowed me, whoops, it allowed me then to, uh, with people, uh, 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 let them trial it, okay, and give me uh, my thousand. Once I've got a thousand profitable traders in back to 25, get them to uh, uh, get venture capital investment at a valuation of 30 million for the company. That's what we've been told by Google Ventures and Amazon Ventures, okay? That would be the valuation. And then IPO a few years later. Uh, this is what Biku he left school at, uh, he left school at 16, joined Barclays Bank. I love the Pitts Parity. He was one of the first apprentices. I now spend most of my time trading and love that as a novice. Uh, I know what to trade and when. He's no longer at Barclays, he's now in Dubai, but he was at Barclays in the UK. Uh, how much? Uh, I know when, how much to try and can leave the exit prize and get on with other work. Our most successful apprentice, if you want an endorsement, this one. Uh, she now works at Newton Investment Management. She manages $10 billion. She joined me as my trading assistant straight out of university. She knew nothing about trading. She was a, uh, she read English literature at university. She joined me, worked with me as my trading assistant for three years. And then from that, she joined Newton. Now she manages $10 billion. Yes, now you'd expect me to have somebody successful, wouldn't you? And that's what we've got. We don't have just Mrs. Jones from, uh, 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 we don't have Mrs. Jones from Croydon or Mr. S. Smith. You know how they do these reviews? Oh, Mr. S. Smith. No, we we, we give you full names of people. We, we show you pictures. We tell you why they bloody worked, right? Barclays Bank, um, uh, uh, Newton Investment Management, okay? Uh, gets better than that, right? We've got the, we've got it in print. Financial Times covered book, Chairman Chicago Board of Trade, uh, clearly elucidates methods of successful trading strategies, right? We're not messing around with anonymous customers, you know, retail clients. I've got loads of those as well on the website if you want to look at those ordinary people, uh, okay? How many likes? I only do 25 at each event. And the reason is because I'm doing the mentoring. The reason I'm doing the mentoring initially for the for you guys, it'll be for life. Um, when we expand, there might be other coaches, but for you, for the first thousand, it'll always be me. It's because I want to get that thousand to profitability. When we get those thousand people, we've got about 800 have gone through it in batch of 25. When we get to that thousand, we get a valuation of 30 million. I own 100% of the company, okay? That's the venture capital valuation of the company. Uh, it's to ensure that high quality mentoring, 30 day, no quote, money back guarantee, but here's a bribe I'm going to give you all, okay? Um, the, the, I'll do that, Deepak, in the Q&A. Uh, the reason, um, oh, and guys, as you sign up, please let me know. Thank you, Winston. I'm delighted. Others, as you sign up, let me know. I want you to be my apprentice. I want you 2020 because you're highly motivated uh, now to do it. I've got uh, certainly Winston on there. I've got Patrick on there. Um, I've got Dylan who has come on. Sandeep, I can see yours. Um, Jacinda, if I said, if I pronounced that right, um, I've, I can see you as well. Okay. Um, uh, Kieran, it should go through. You can either use PayPal. I'll show you where the link is. It's arpishpatel.com forward slash here. I'll show you that in a second. All right, there's where you go. There. And we've got a course as well. And people get a certificate. So you're going to get a hedge fund manager who will certify you. So if you're looking for a job in finance, a good way. If you're looking at free kids, some people do it husband and wife together, and that's perfectly fine. I don't have an issue with that either. Okay, when you go to arpishpatel.com forward slash here, right, uh, it's a one-off fee. There's no monthly charge, no daily charge, no weekly charge, all the data, all the real time. There's no upsells. There's no messing around. It's a one-off fee because we, we we thought about offering it for free. When we did that, people didn't respect it. Uh, and we weren't going to get to our 1,000 profitable apprentices because people just thought, oh, it's free and not worth it. Um, and then we thought, well, what price point should we do? And we didn't want to charge as much as all these um, classrooms who know nothing or not regulated fund managers, don't manage money, or so good, nobody will trust them with a penny, okay? So we thought, well, let's do it so that's a no-brainer for people, absolute no-brainer. So let's make it 30-day money-back guarantee. And here's a bribe. You get signed copies of my two most recent books just for trialing it, just for trying it for those 30 days. Even if after 30 days, yeah, I've made my money, no thanks, I've learned. Uh, I'll, you can keep the books and the USB. There's a USB that goes with the books as well. You can keep that as well, okay? Uh, works on all pairs. Um, Michael, if it, you're not computer literate, that's fine. If it takes more than 10 minutes, we'll do it for you. If it takes more than 10 minutes, we've got somebody who'll do it for you. You've got 24-7 support as well. No ongoing costs. 
free upgrades. All up, we're about to launch version six in January. So, and all upgrades are free. Lifetime mentoring for me. You know why? Because nobody else out there. We wanted to blow out the competition, like in any technology company. You want to blow out the competition. How do you do it? You offer something none of them can, because none of the others will get you to profitability. So they can't give you lifetime mentoring, because they know if they give that, you're going to be on their backs. I know you're not going to be on my back, because I've got 800 people who are happily trading away. Full online training course. There's a 30-day course and a 12-week course. You don't have to do it, but you can do it if you wish. And uh, it, you can got it for life, so you don't have to do it at set times. You can do it whenever you want because you've always got direct access to me, one-to-one -one access to me. So if you say, Alpish, can I send you my trades? Yes. Alpish, is there a form I fill in so you can see what my strengths and weaknesses are? Yes. Alpish, is the course material so if I want to learn more, I can. Yes. Alpish, can I just start trading tonight? Yes. If I don't want to do any of the mentoring? Yes. Okay. We are going to increase the price in 2020. It's going to be £2,000 a year. Not for you guys. Not for you who sign up today. £2,000 a year for the mentoring, £2,000 a year for the indicator um, and the signals, not for you guys, okay? Uh, for the for you guys, it's fixed at this rate because we want to build up the numbers, get the high valuation for the company. You click on add to cart. You can either use arpishpatel.com forward slash here. You can either use PayPal or uh, uh, MasterCard Visa. By the way, the 1000 the reason for the 1000 uh, it pays the IT staff. It doesn't pay me. Thousand covers the IT and the technology people and the upgrades. It just covers our costs. Why? Because that's not where the capital comes from. The capital comes when the com company's floated at a billion valuation in six years. Uh, you know, thousand nobody really cares about. It just covers the cost of the IT staff uh, who run it and the customer service staff and the people who will install it for you. Uh, uh, that's it, right? So you got Master Visa card or PayPal as well. If you got, it, you don't need a PayPal account to use PayPal. You can use uh, American Express, PayPal. Okay. If you're in the EU, I'm afraid there's v VAT. If you're not in the EU, there is no VAT. So if you're in America, there's no VAT, and there it is. Uh, for you guys, it's just this rate. But in the future, it is going to be uh, two thousand pounds a year. Not for you, but for others. Uh, but yeah, the price will be going up. Um, uh, also, all the course material, everything else on there. I want to show you something else. I want to show you the mentoring website. I also want to show you how we mentor people. All right, that's how we mentor people. Oh, um, people have asked me, what's the address? Sorry, uh, we've got a few licenses still left. I am excited that you're excited. Good. Okay, there is optional.com forward slash here. Okay, uh, let me put that on a sticky message right as well uh bum 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 people are wondering what's the address now let me show you we think this is the google of trading you get webinars six weekly webinars every saturday only for apprentices 11 a.m on stop losses 12 o'clock on entries one o'clock on limit orders two o'clock on money management three o'clock on adding to winners uh four o'clock on trading psychology okay daily news emails you're gonna get that you also get the app on telegram so you can see the trades we're placing as well on that three times a week uh, on there and daily news that I'm reading. So each morning you get to see that. Some people say, um, uh, Manmi, no, it covers Forex, UK stocks, European stocks, US stocks. It covers, because you don't care where you make your money. Cryptocurrencies as well. You don't care where you make your money. So people go, oh, what about Indian stocks? I have a lot of people, I mean, um, ask me about Indian stocks. Why do you care if you're trading US dollar, Swiss francs? Um, you don't like this is euro US dollar. As long as that's money to be made, what do you care whether it's Apple, Nokia, Pfizer, or or Tata? Okay. So if the Indian stocks are listed on the US market like Tata is, then it does cover it. Courses, the 30 day and 12 week course, all included in that, and that's updated every single week because we update with things that um, Google have. Uh, sorry, UBS, Goldman Sachs reports, all of that goes in there. So you're going to see the same stuff I see across my hedge fund as well. In person meetings, I have at least one a week. Live trading, you get to see what I see because you're seeing the same software um, that we look at. Okay, trader community site. I'll show you that in a second. So there's a community site of all the traders. There's personal feedback and mentoring. You send me your trades. Uh, we have an online form. You can send me your trades on this. These we have got credentials like nobody else. Okay, it's just a one-off fee. There's no subscriptions. Regulated hedge fund manager, um, reputable financial broadcaster, Bloomberg TV, Financial Times, broker independent, won trading awards, live mentoring without further charge, top tier university credentials for research and development. Um, yeah, if you're wondering, it was Oxford University. One-to-one -one direct assistant from me, no hotel, no travel costs, meet me, all of this stuff. I mean, bloody hell. So we realized this is a billion dollar business we've got. Okay, and that's why we do it this way. It's expertise from the best. 
expertise from the best is the way I see it. Uh, and that's the point of it. Uh, let me show you something else. Let me just show you something else that we're doing. Okay. These are where everyone's from. It's brilliant. 80% I say come from the UK, then the rest are split, not 80, sorry, 50% from the UK, the rest are split from around the world. So 20% um, America, roughly EU, uh, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, UAE, um, Hong Kong, South Africa, and Singapore, the main sort of markets, main markets. Uh, Paul has said PL, PL, what do you mean by PL? Um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Bernie. My pleasure, my friend. My pleasure, my friend. As you sign up, please, people, give me a sh let me know your name so I can give you a shout out as well. This is a summary as well of all you're getting. We think it's a no brainer. We don't think we've missed a single thing. Given that you've got a track record to look at, when you look at this, given that it's 30 day uh, no quill money back guarantee, given that I'm a public figure, you know you're going to get your money back if you're not happy in any event. Given that you can look at all the historical signals on every single thing, even things we've not traded, you might want to look at Verizon for all I know, okay, and say, well, how did it go on Verizon? You might say, yeah, I like it. You know, you might find stuff we don't look at. We don't look at Verizon. Why? There's only so much we can look at. Look at all this. Look at all that you can look at, okay? All this data is live, real-time, and free from multiple brokers. So it's broker-independent, okay? And it solves all your trading problems. Every single problem I've mentioned tonight, it solves um uh but, 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 but paul because a billion paul a billion paul said why do you need to raise funds for an ipo um the same reason uber is an ipo the same reason uh, a billion paul a billion uh unicorn um the same reason amazon is an ipo the same reason google and microsoft are ipos it, um dar yes um you can look at, once you place the trades, you can place it. We don't um, say to you, put this on MT4 on your phone because we want people not to be bloody addicted to their phones. Dar, and when we show people in the trading manual, the process, okay, what we do is when we look at them at the process, um, uh, uh, they, we want them to look at the screen. Let's say you're looking at the desktop. You can place the trade on your phone and then you can monitor it on your phone if you really want. But what we say is, Place the trade, move away. And the reason is, in experiments, we experiment everything, okay? You'll know from my first book 20 odd years ago, Mind of a Trader. We experiment everything. It's all about psychology. When people kept looking at their phones, they did lower quality trades and they traded more frequently and they second guess the system because they fiddled, okay? So that became a real problem. So what I'm saying is don't do it that way. Don't try and use the phone. But we teach you this because a lot of the things you want to do are your own worst enemies, they're your own worst enemy. A lot of the things you want to do, okay? <clears throat> Paul, just to explain how it works. When a venture capital invests in a technology, so a $30 million investment to expand it across the world, okay, what they will, and I'm not worth 30 million in case you're wondering, our fund has 90 million assets under management, the asset management company, Profinium, okay, um, of pension funds and so on. 90% of that is other people's money uh, because guess what? We only receive from our own capital in there plus fees from managing the capital. So when we get 30 million from venture capitalists, guess what? They want an exit because they want to return on their investment. So they want to sell their shares at some stage. That's what an exit is. So they want an IPO. That would happen a few years later. That's why you do an IPO. It's why all the companies um, do IPOs. They want to exit their existing investors without which a promised exit, they would never invest in the first place because why do they want to be in there for life? Um, it's 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 just how the markets and IPOs work. So you could even Google why IPO. Um, that's the reason behind it. You need an exit to get the initial VCs, and you need the initial VCs because nobody has all the money in the world. Um, okay, it's as simple as that. Uh, so as well as the books and all of this, we wanted to do something which absolutely wiped the floor with the competition. So we had people like John Watson, co-chairman of CNBC Arabia, saying the lid of the trader's black box has finally and well and truly been removed, or Coots Bank, an essential companion for the online trader. Um, people like that. We we Yeah, if you look at the website, we've got credentials from regular users, obviously. Um, but regular users are to a penny, you know. Uh, uh, if you get enough people using anything, some are going to say, yeah, it's great. But what about people whose reputations, Coots Bank, CNBC, uh, Rothschild, what about those? That's why we did it that way. You don't have to pay for updates. There is no contract because it's yours for life, okay? Uh, how? What is your long-term plan? Well, I've explained that. It's the IPO, the darn thing. 
Um, why do you limit to 25 at a time? Because I'm doing the mentoring and I want to make sure you're profitable. I want to make sure there's quality in the mentoring. Is it better brokers are ECM brokers? What's your Yeah, PJ, I think if you can get the ECN ones, are you happy with them? Some people find them too complicated, then it's far better to do that. Um, in terms of brokerages, I'll email you all um, which brokers we think are a bit safer and we like. There's about four or five that I particularly like. Okay, Dart, do you put guaranteed stops if you keep trade overnight during weekends or close all trades on a Friday night? Dart, it's a brilliant question. What I say to private investors is you choose. A lot of people prefer closing everything on a Friday night, and I don't have a problem with it. We don't use guaranteed stops because that would mean uh, we'd have to pay higher spreads all the time, and we'd only need them re relatively rarely. And because we put we, we spread our risk by having a diverse number of trades, therefore, we're not overexposed to any one trade. We're not too worried. Um, um uh why do i require to do it with a very busy workload i don't understand i mean i don't have a, a busier workload than um elon musk okay um that's why uh i want to do the ipo because that's what a business does uh you mentioned what that group for apprentices please um i uh, would appreciate oh winston you've just signed up so i'll send you all of that detail in actual fact this is the mentoring uh, website. Let me just give it to you in a second. Okay. Da, 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 da. Um, I've never heard anybody ever say I'm too busy to be a billionaire. I mean, what's the point of business? Give it all away afterwards to charity, of course. Sign the sign the pledge. But I've never heard somebody say, "Yeah, got busy workload. Oh, I don't want to make more money." Doesn't make sense. Um, right. So there, you've got it. If you're an apprentice, you'll go to the pipsraiser.com website. There's the WhatsApp. Um, channel for Telegram, which is the other channel that's on there as well. You'll see the useful links as, as apprentices. There's the 12-week uh, course on there. Not only that, it tells you, you know, look, if you're still not sure, you can book a strategy call with me uh, as well. You just go to pitspredator.com and you can uh, s s uh, uh, find the time to call me. Um, it'll give you the details. So I'll speak to you and no obligation. We're going to have a chat. You know, I've been helping private investors. I want to build a billion dollar company. Just like, you know what? Steve Jobs he used to walk out and show the phone, right? It was him. This is my baby. This is me walking out and show you the iPhone, right? I'll speak to you personally because I'll learn more from speaking to you as to what your objections are by talking to you one to one. That's why people say, people say, you're mad. Why would you have one to one calls with the customers? I said, do you know the biggest businesses? The CEO speaks to the customers. Nobody's too big to speak to the end client to find out what the issues are. That's how we do it. Okay. So when you go to pitspreader.com, you can schedule a call with me if you wish. You'll also see a whole load of other stuff that I do. A lot of people don't know the other stuff that I do. Um, and on this, you'll see my credentials and what I do in terms of with the government. Um, I'm very lucky I get to uh, go around the world working with my wife and the UK government uh, talking about fintech because the um, government uses me for various fintech festivals and so on. I used to work in the United States Congress. Uh, I founded um, the Indus Entrepreneurs, which is an entrepreneur mentoring organization. It's the UK chapter of the world's largest entrepreneur mentoring organization. Okay, that's Barclays at my book launch uh, that I did. Um, uh, Manmi, I can send you that uh, for Indian trading accounts. I'm actually going to be in Mumbai at the end of January, by the way, Manmi. So if you're going to be in Mumbai or Hyderabad, let me know um, as well. You know what? The best thing you can do when you make money from all of this is uh, thank you very much, Serge, is give it all to a charity. British Asian Trust is one of the charities I support. Lumbar Trust is another. OK, uh, uh, these are anyway, my credentials, you don't care about any of that. Do you, do you really care about any of this? Um, what you might care about and what I want all my apprentices to do is join me on LinkedIn. The reason I want all my apprentices to join me on LinkedIn is this. Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is you'll see the other work I do as well. Um, and the best way to prove anybody's credentials are to see who they're connected to uh, on this. You'll see CEOs of hedge funds and banks and what they say about me and all the rest of it. Uh, and you'll also get to see that as well as being the founder of uh, Profinium, which has been going since 2004, and the lovely things people say about us, what our investors say, you'll also see I'm on the Entrepreneurship Advisory Board of uh, Downing Street, so 10 Downing Street. Um, and for the UK government, I promote fintech around the world, technology like this. And I just come back from South Korea talking about this technology for them. Anyway, you'll see a whole load of stuff. I want my apprentices to link up with me because I will introduce them to anybody they want through LinkedIn. I also, also want, uh, I also, also want um, uh, 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 this. This is the 12-week mentoring course. Here it is. 
okay? Uh, and you've got the introduction, you've got all this, you've got technical issues, if you've got those latest videos and notices behind the scenes, and I update this pretty much every single week on the 12-week course, week one, and it takes you through it. And you might say, why do you update a course? And I said, well, I get a newsletter from Goldman Sachs saying these are their top trades. Would I not want to do that? Um, I'd say CFDs, Dar, um, because they tend to be a bit more efficient. Within a hedge fund, we use CFDs, believe it or not. Obviously, we don't use spread bets, and they tend to be, for a whole bunch of reasons, uh, a bit more effective and efficient than spread bets. Um, and the brokers know. Brokers know with spread bets, they'll mess you around a bit more, and they know that institutions use CFD, so they tend to keep the prices a bit more honest. Okay, week two. So very structured and bite-sized. Tell rule. Now, you don't have to do this course. There's a 12-week course. If you want to become a full-on hedge fund manager, there's a 30-day course, a bit shorter and quicker. You don't have to do this course. This is for those who want to. Okay, who want to take it to the next level? And there's even a certificate, right? I mean, you know, it goes through it very structured, uh, goes through it all the way. And I just updated this week the man who solved the markets, momentum training head from managers who conquered the market, as well as videos extra. So I'm always adding extra stuff to it uh, as well. You get weekly emails from me. I want to make sure you are absolutely over the moon with what you see on this. I'm not sure actually, um, Johan, if we've got any, um, uh, 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 if we've got any left, I'm afraid. I'm not sure if we've, got, I don't know if we've got any licenses left. Oh, I think we might have a couple, might have a couple. Try it. If it goes through, it means it was uh, available. If it doesn't go through, it means, sorry, you were too late and you'll have to wait until I do the next webinar and I don't know when that will be, I am afraid. Okay. So uh, as well as scheduling that call with me, we have a community website. So as well as the Telegram channel, the WhatsApp channel, we've got a community site. And this, you can see all my latest views, what and when to trade as well, which is lots more mentoring questions and a searchable database. So the mentoring is not just the course material. It's not just email contact with me, not just sending me your trades and your business plan and me evaluating them on a daily basis or weekly basis, whenever you want, but also looking at the software. And tonight we can start trading as well, guys, if you wish, Euro, US dollar will be one of the ones we'll look at, I'm sure. Um, and we'll start, like I said, tonight uh, on all of this. We've got the FTSE as well. Well, the FTSE, thank you. You've all made me a shed load of money. And I just saw, I started the webinar with the FTSE and showed you this from noon today and saying we were short. Well, that's followed all the way through to the webinar. And you can see now it's gone to the lowest point it's been and we've made even more. So I'll probably update the Telegram channel we have on there where I tell people our trades as well, as well as this is telling you our trades anyway. People go, can I see the trades you're doing? Yeah, they're here, look, live. Um, oh, but can I just see them after you've done them? I said, yeah, okay, we posted, we started posting those. What people ask for, people get. Okay, so we even started posting it on the community site, which they can search, and you can see it there, December 30th, our top picks. And we give you a heat map of the market as well, in case you don't want to follow our stuff, you can look at others as well, which is the hot shorts and the hot longs. Um, and what we're looking at in particular, you know, which which ones for you to focus on, which trades we think are trending the most. So people sometimes go, oh, I don't know where to start, which should I look at? I said, well, there you've got the community site, and you can chat on here with me, you can chat on, the um, course, there's comments bits there on the pit spread. There's loads of way to create a proper trading community where we can all chat. We've got a Facebook page as well. You can chat on there with me. So it's up to you. Some people say, I don't want to chat on Facebook. I want to chat one to one. Well, you got the email address there as well. So we made sure there is absolutely no reason. We made sure we do something which nobody else does. We made sure we do it better than anybody else. We made sure we give you more options than anybody else in terms of how you might want to be educated, how you might want to learn. Got everyone beeping ahead like crazy on my uh, phone. So I know we've got a whole load of people coming on here. We wanted to create a fair way to teach people without recurring charges and be broker independent, all spun out from a regulated hedge fund. So the first solution was, well, give the software from the hedge fund to private investors. But that's only worthwhile if we're gonna make, you know, an IPO out of it and a billion pounds out of it. Um, Eric, um, no, on the iPad, which is just like a cell phone, I want you to look at it on the desktop, same principles as the desktop. Do you know about when in 2020 you'll increase the price of the solution? Sylvain, I don't know when I'm gonna increase it, but um, I'm afraid I am gonna to have to, not for you guys, if you're already an apprentice as of today, there's no increases ever, okay? So don't worry about it. this is for future people uh, because that's what the venture capitalists want because they want a return on their investment. Because uh, for us to go global, we need more teachers um, and more marketing. So for you, it'll always be me, but in the future when we're expanding, it'll need those. Solution two, lifetime mentoring or professional regulated hedge fund manager and minor trading celebrity, if I may say so. Uh, daily updates, lifetime upgrades included, no subsequent fees. That's how we made it fair for everyone. Okay, and you can start with zero dollars because you're learning. Learn before you earn. 
Okay, learn before you earn. The webinar is going to shut off because the system shuts off after two hours. I'm going to have to go soon. Um, hedge fund trading software, lifetime personal mentoring, ultimate solution. That was it. It's as simple as that. And this was the birth, how it started. Okay. Step one, 1995, I met the world's leading traders. Yeah, this has been a long journey. Step two, I won the FT competition in 2004 and launched my own hedge fund from the publicity of that. Step three, I launched version six of the Predator in 2020. What are our ambitions and timing? Why are we doing it now? Well, people want side gigs. They want entrepreneurial ventures more than ever. Okay. Um, it's worth telling people that Telegram is also a Mac application. It's much easier to follow your posts on a Mac. Guess also true for Windows. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Thank you very much, my friend. I've just told them um, as well. The kid, I'll have a look at that. Reason two, people are fed up with internet, fake, unregulated, non-trader, newbie teachers, institutes, scamming schools. So we come along, wipe the floor with the competition who made the market for us. Um, this has been the traction since 2016 when I launched this. About 200 apprentices a year because I'm very busy, as Paul pointed out. So about 200 to profitability each year. And the target, well, this is it. The people we want, part-time traders, people looking for side income for their rent, mortgage, for themselves or their kids, top-up pension, always trade with risk capital, though. or full-time traders want to get a job in the city or start their own fund. Those are the two main targets. Our competitive advantages are these. We're the only regulated hedge fund manager reaching out to private investors. Others claim to be. They're not hedge fund managers. They're not regulated. No ongoing subscriptions or charges for the first thousand there anyway. Okay. Lifetime one-to-one -one mentoring, no extra cost. Advantage number four, lifetime updates, upgrades, combining software and code. Nobody else does any of this. And the future map, there it is. If any of you care, that's what the goals are going forward. Okay. Um, uh, uh, no, don't worry, Sylvain. I'll keep it for you. I'll keep it for you. If you go, all of you go to pitspredator.com, you'll see you can schedule a call with me if you're not sure. Um, uh, as well, there's a separate number for apprentices, except because they can just come to me at any time they want. So don't worry, apprentices, there's a separate number for you guys anyway, okay? These are all the ways, like I said, I mentor people. Plus now we've got WhatsApp and we've got Skype and Telegram as well, because every single way people wanted, I wanted to give them, all right? We've also got a podcast. So sometimes people ask me questions. And I think, hey, that's great. I'm going to share it with others. Now, guys, I'm going to have to go because, first of all, the system is going to shut up, uh, shut off. So I'm going to have to go anyway. Thank you all for being on this webinar. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to shut off the screen share for a second. I want to thank you. You've seen what my ambitions are for the business. I think it's important people with businesses, whether it's an Elon Musk or anybody else, explain where the end goal is, what the journey is. And you know what? The reason you see um, when Steve Jobs launched a product or Bill Gates launched a product, the CEO, that's what I copied. I copied the billionaires. It's as simple as that. Because if you're going to be in business, you might as well aim to do it properly and do it big. Okay. So in copying them, that's one of the reasons why um, uh, uh, I'm the one doing the broadcast because it's my baby, my puppy, and I want to show that I believe in it. Otherwise, people will say, well, why is he not even turning up? Is he too good for us? You know, why has he got some underling educator? who's not a regulated fund manager, what does he care? Well, if the dream's that big, it should be me turning up, okay? It's as simple as that. Uh, uh, and that's why I'm here, because it's also a way of indicating my commitment to getting you to profitability, because if I'm not in the room now, then what the hell, you know, who would do it, okay? Um, as I also say, I'll just share this with you as well. There's the details, they're on pitsprater.com. Apprentices, you should always be able to find it on pitsprater.com anyway on the website. You'll find the emails of everyone, but we'll, I'll email you straight off this webinar if you've downloaded it. Uh, and you've got all the contact numbers, direct lines for apprentices, Skype calls, phone numbers, UK, US, Hong Kong. Um, you've got our offices, 84 Brook Street. It's next to Claridge's. I'll take you for a tea or coffee. Just come and uh, message me and we'll, we'll meet up. About 10%. Oh, and there's live chat as well we've got now as well, okay? So we've added that. You know, whatever people wanted, they said, oh, I want to be more intimate to you. I want to be short of moving in with me. And the reason is when we get to a 1,000 profitable traders, we've got a valuation of 30 million. And on my timelines, that gets me on the next step to getting the IPO, which gets me on the next step, people, to getting unicorn status for this great British company. Okay, i got to go now. It's about to cut off. Uh, if you're still not sure, go to pitsprayer.com and you can schedule a call with me. Uh, okay. It gives you a whole bunch of dates and we can talk it through there. So if you weren't sure, there's still the opportunity to do that else you'd go there. And I want to just thank everybody for being on this, uh, webinar. All right. Uh, thank you all very much indeed. Dee, dee, dee.